I'm not seeing the screen. Hey, there. everybody. How are Maybe you? In there. All right. Hang on a second. Let me get my YouTube. I should have just put it up on the TV. Darn it. That'd have been a whole lot easier to see it up above me when my hands are all, <laughs> when my hands are all in the middle, right? Okay. Where did my plug go? There we go. See. Woo. Well, I got a lot of static electricity and it's making my hair come around and stick to my face and my mouth and my nose. And I don't want to keep grabbing at my face with um, shaving cream fingers <laughs> to try. Oh, to yeah. Grab. So I had to pull it all back in a clip. <laughs> uh, OK, so let me just get whoops, wrong one. Let me get us. You up on YouTube. Up funny. Yesterday, what? I got Nutella in my hair because I didn't did? have it up. I put I put pigtails in. Yeah. And I, do, I usually have it on top of my head. I've got really long hair and I hate that I wear it up on my head all the time. So right. yesterday I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put these little, you know, like low braids in. And I got Nutella in my hair, but I didn't realize it until I went to bed. <laughs> and so I I'm in there. I was like, oh my gosh, what is in my hair? And I was, I was, I was, your hair it was there. <laughs> yeah, it was Nutella. I it love was, Nutella. I, I was not eating Nutella out of the jar at uh, at the kitchen counter. I was not. Nope. nope. That Nothing never happened. Than a Nutella and banana sandwich. <laughs> I love Nutella and tahini mixed together. Really? It's sesame butter, you know. Wow. Yeah, I do know what it, it is. It That's tastes what I'm like it was, there's a Spanish candy that tastes just like it. Hmm. And I love it so much. Hmm. Um, just mixed together. Plus, the Nutella is too sweet, and when you mix that together, it makes it. Maybe that's what the banana does is neutralize it a little. Because yeah. I love yeah. on a good soft, not good for you at all white bread, Nutella and banana <laughs> sandwich is so good. Huh. I like peanut butter and banana, so I'm sure I would like that. Yeah. All right. I got to go back here. Glenn is first one in. Ready to make a mess. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, Bernice. We are gonna make a mess. Hello, Dawn and Margie. Thumbs up in. Margie, Margie, Kathy, watching and eating pizza. Hey, Kathy, that's what we had for dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Grinning. Grinning. Yeah. <laughs> Margie, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> hey, Joni, how are you? Hope Lizzie doesn't break. Doesn't think shaving cream is cool with. Yeah, really. Uh, uh, Glenn is going to spray Margie with it afterwards for a shaving really? cream fight, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, long way to spray. It's like Marianne got lost. Oh, it took us this long to get everything cleared off and grab a couple pieces of pizza and then get everything put back on here. <laughs> wait, wait. I uh, thought Doug cooked. He cooked. Uh, he, he, cooked. he cooked. He did. He he um got online and cooked a pizza at the front door. That's funny. <laughs> I tell Bill it's his turn to cook, and that means he needs to pick something up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's funny. Yes, I have a special shelf for my hair, Margie. It's called my big fat head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was in top chat. I probably missed a whole bunch here. Hello, Kathy and Deborah and Margo. Of course, Margie and Glennis and Lost. <laughs> Lucy ate them all. Oh, Lucy doesn't like Nutella. Oh, I love Nutella. Love it. Doug doesn't like Nutella. I love Nutella. Hi, Deborah. I love it. I'm glad Bill doesn't like hey, it. Margo. I'm glad. Because it's mine. Ooh, me too. Right? <laughs> I eat it right out of the jar. I, I'm you know, when like I need to probably fix. never get any. <laughs> right, right, right. Because, like, Bill eats a box of cereal in three bowls. That's hilarious. So, yeah. I, I yeah so the Nutella would be gone. Nutella just like that. <laughs> it's Deb, mine. Hi, Margo. Hi, Margo. Margo, are you going to play along with us? Hi, Lori. Yep, hubby cooked. Bernice got pizza too. <laughs> mm. I have to cook for myself. I'm, Mine's not finish, I'm finishing my dessert that I made sugar free pudding with banana and Cool Whip on it. Yum. Hello. Why don't they make dark chocolate, less sugar, or sugar free Nutella? Ooh. Speaking of Nutella, I almost want to write the company. I've been thinking that for a while. Have you? For yeah. Um, for what purpose? Just to eat, you know, like a sugar-free Nutella because it's oh, cocoa butter and hazelnuts. So why can't they 
make it with less sweet and more cocoa powder because that would be a dark chocolate. You mean a little more caffeine? <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, why not? I don't I, think chocolate. I don't know. Sweet. I don't think it's too sweet. It is sweet, but I don't think it's too sweet. I like it. <laughs> I I'm just love it. If it was less sweet, I would eat more, honestly. <laughs> exactly. And I don't want to eat more because it sticks to me. It likes me too. So I want to show you guys a couple things before we get started. I just um, dropped them all on the floor though. So I'm reorganizing their order. So oh, it'll loose sense. Hi, Lucy. She used to put Hershey's chocolate cocoa powder on her peanut butter toast. That is a great idea. Oh, that's kind of the same thing, right? Making your own. Yes. Your own, um, Nutella. See, well, she was like doing I, it back before Nutella was big. She was like I mixed mine with tahini. Same thing. I'm just yep. making it less sweet and more yummy. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. So let's see. Margo's gonna play with us. Yay! Yay! Okay. Glennis, are you playing with us tonight? Are you making Glennis a mess? Is. I think Glennis yes. Is. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so we're gonna try a bunch of different mediums, or we're gonna start with the same one, but then we're gonna try a whole bunch. Uh, we're gonna figure show, out what works. I want to show you guys. I'm gonna go to single screen just for a second. Is that okay? Uh huh. Because I want to show you. So I stood at the uh, the counter the other night to make up some samples quickly because I didn't have any marbled paper left that I had made to show you. And so I want to show you a couple of things. Because uh, every time you put the shaving cream down, you don't have to get rid of the shaving cream and do a whole new thing each time. Yeah. Um, I'm looking around to see if I'm, I, I know I forgot something because I forgot to look at the list. Hey, Debbie. Oh, and Jill is there too. Nice. John's playing. Yay. No such thing as too sweet. I kind of agree. Ooh. Oh, Nutella in a crepe. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Okay. In, in, a, crepe. in a crepe. Yeah. Okay. Ah. So, so I want to just kind of show you the evolution of this so that you can see what happened. So okay. I put I put the shaving cream down and you'll see the technique as we go. But I used um, three different colors of alcohol ink. I put in a yellow. You can see the bright yellow here. And let's see. I want to see if my YouTube is at the. OK, yeah, that's pretty decent. OK, so I put in a, a bright yellow and I put in an orange and I put in a pink sunset. Kind of, I was just going to say kind of sunset colors. I really like that. So I put those in, swirled it around, and this is what I got. And that was really nice. And then after you finish, then the shaving cream is kind of all, you know, a mess. So I did this one, leaving the shaving cream as it was. Still got a really nice print. Isn't that, I mean, after the shaving cream, cream's been a mess and you think, oh, you don't have any good design left. Look what I got. I this like that one better. Yeah. yeah. Well, this was more, um, what's the word? Mixed. More creamy and mixed and, and um, yeah. soft. Yeah. And then I thought, okay, I want the same colors, but I'd like a little more vibrant yellow and a little more vibrant pink. So all I did was put a few drops of yellow in it and a few drops of pink. And with the same batch of shaving cream, got this. So same thing, but there's some more vibrant um, yellow, some more vibrant pink. Isn't that cool? So oh, yeah. Same, same shaving cream, three completely different prints, all same color, but three different marbles that I would use for different things because of the intensity or the soft muted, you know, however they are. So there's one. So then... I said, all right, I think I want to um, change that up a little bit. I left the same shaving cream in there and I added blue to it. Look what I got. Pretty, pretty. The same shaving cream though. You, if you look closely, you can still see the pink in there. You can see some yellow somewhere and a little tiny bit of orange there. And it gives all these different colors. 
But that's the same shaving cream. I didn't have to get rid of it to completely change the color and the look. Look at that. Yeah. You shouldn't awesome. have to at all. Yeah. If, so if you just your colors ahead of time, you know, like so they go together. Yeah. And I was just picking them as I went. And so then that one is kind of all smushed up because most of it was all ready together. So I just added a few more drops of blue because I wanted a little more intense blue. Still same shaving cream. And that's what I got. That's cool. Yeah. Love that. Okay. So then um, I rinsed my paper plate off. And let's see. Rinsed my paper plate off and decided I'll go with like, oh, what did I have? Probably a green and a blue. Maybe two shades of blue. Maybe it's just three different shades of blue. I don't even remember. Could have been three shades of blue or a shade of uh, blue and, and green. I don't know. But anyway, you know, they're there. So I mix them all up and, and I got this. So then I went back in without adding anything. And on the same one, pulled this print. But I removed the shaving cream differently on this one. On this one, I slid it off with the scraper. Like I'll show you. And then this one... I wiped it off in round circles with um, a paper towel. And depending what kind of ink you have, sometimes that will help move the ink a little bit and it'll become a little more cloudy or um, blended together, a little more blended instead of quite so crisp. So then I did it again with the exact same shaving cream. So now it's really getting blended, just looks like a cloud. And then when I wiped it off, because I didn't add anything else, got that one. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Three completely different marbles from the same one. So then I decided to try a red, white, and blue. So I left the same shaving cream down. I hate wasting. And I hate throwing away the shaving cream every print. If I can get a whole mess of them, and you can get a whole mess of them just by adding a color or two colors as you go and completely change the look of it. So all I did was add a tiny bit of shaving cream. So I'd add some white, because obviously there's not much white left. It's all you know mushed together and blues and greens. I added a tiny bit of shaving cream on top, and then I dropped in some red and swirled that together. Now this one I wiped off with the paper towel as well. I wanted to see how that red would work in. And I don't like it quite as well because I felt like it just kind of smeared that red in there. And, and I, I would have rather that not be quite so smeared, but that is wiped off with the paper towel. And this second, this one is too. But you can see how going from one to the other, all with the same shaving cream. Okay, so then I... Um, moved it around a little bit, put this one down and pick this one up and scraped it off, which is my preferred way of doing it. So I'll show you that and got a really nice clean print. You can see the difference here, kind of cloudy and mushy as compared to just a clean, like I like seeing the white through it. It gives it contrast. And when I wiped it off, it just kind of covered the white and muted it out. So I just kept pulling off of that red, white, and blue and got a different print every single time. Now we're getting wet there where I can't see. Okay. And then I decided to do try one more thing. And so I cleaned the plate again, just washed off the shaving cream, put some new shaving cream down. And then I went in with, um, I think it was the alcohol ink. I think it was citrus and peacock and um, uh, one of the purples, seedless, whatever. And this was the first one that I pulled. So that was cool. So then I took that same one, I left everything on there and I added pink. And look what I got, same shaving cream. You can see here and there, some little tiny bits of that green citrus. They're just kind of popping. I really through. like that one. Yeah, it looks like rays from behind the cloud or something because there's just only very few of them. So that was cool. So then I took that and went, okay, that's cool. But now what if I add purple? What if I add more purple to it? Because I got some good intense pink there. So I added more purple. 
And now the, the blues and the pink had been, you know, mushed around several times. So now the purple was stronger. And then I said, okay, those colors are really great. But remember that citrus back there that was just that little tiny pop of green? What if I put that back in on top of all of it? Look at that. That was really cool. How that citrus just came in and pulled everything out. And then I added vintage photo. The last one that I did, I had added the citrus here. So I added a few drops of vintage photo here. And this last poll is with vintage photo. They're all talking about how they don't have, some of them don't have all the colors except for the browns and the reinkers. But That's we're also okay. gonna show you how to use some other things. So it's yes. okay. <clears throat> yeah, um, you can use alcohol. Food coloring. You could, if, yeah, food coloring, alcohol ink, um, watercolor ink. In fact, where did I set my watercolor? Because I had watercolor out I, to use. I think um, you could even use uh, make watercolor Kool Aid. Um, use Kool Aid packets could. and make little watercolors a palette with it with a tiny so, bit of water in each one yeah yeah what i would do if i was using um well here's the thing it, it'll work i think it, i think that would work if you put kool-aid on a on, on a plate or in a little dish i would only add a couple of drops just enough That's to right. make it liquid yeah because yeah, if you yeah. make it runny then all it's going to do is melt the shaving cream and make it runny right oh, oh i gotta show you, you one more thing up. i had all that shaving cream sitting on my plate and I had been using this paper towel and I thought I am not going to waste that shaving cream. So I put this paper towel in the shaving cream and I got a marbled paper to paper towel. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. You can even marble yeah. the side. Yeah. As long as it's, you can, um, acrylic paint. If you've got some acrylic paint, you can go grab some acrylic paint. That will work. Anything that's liquid. Um, now, alcohol inks, they, you can see them sizzle the shaving cream, and they're going to work differently than watercolor inks. Honestly, your watercolors are probably your best bet. We're going to try some dry powders, perfect pearls or shimmer mist, things like that. Um, if you have any of the distressed paint, those will work. We're going to try all kinds of things just so you can see how it goes. I even brought over some um, Tattered Angels. I'm going to try Tattered Angels. I have not tried Tattered Angels yet, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. Any of I those sprays. Spray, uh, any of those ink sprays. Um, Acrylic paint, craft paint. Uh -huh. I was going to do that. Some of, you know, just some some liquid ones. And if you don't have really liquid ones, I would even put a couple drops of water in it. Yeah, in, exactly. You know, just yeah. cheap acrylic paint. I grab some of that. Um, and but, yes, magicals. Absolutely, Lucy. Yeah. All I've got these sitting here from this afternoon. These shimmer mists from Nouveau. I'll try those. Yeah, we were going to try those tonight. I've got some distress oxide um, sprays. I'll try. I did try those actually before. I just don't spray them. Don't spray them, or you just get a spray everywhere. And when you mix it, it just mixes up because you want drops that you can then pull. So I actually I, have some paints here that I not. mixed for something a long time ago, like before we met. And I'm put them in these bottles because I had some left over. So what I'm going to do is use these up because these are kind of, they're pretty liquidy. And I put a bead in the bottom of these so I could shake them good anyway. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try to use uh, some tonight because I need to use them up. They're great colors for this. Yeah, And I want to use browns and stuff. I would like to use some neutral colors. Uh, they were saying that maybe they didn't, they only have neutral colors and the oh. inks and stuff. I really like what the vintage photo did here. And I want to do some that have those um, neutral, but multi-toned. Yeah. I would like to have all the colors and the colors I'll yeah. use, I think more importantly exactly it doesn't do any great anything good to make um great bright backgrounds if you will never use them so you need to do them in colors that you'll use 
And I am going to do something else because, you know, I deplore waste. I have a stencil sitting here. Mm -hmm. I've, I've chosen four stencils, five stencils, I and I have a pad sitting here. And mm -hmm. as I take it off of the paper, I'm going to add it to the stencil. So I'm going to get two for ones. Right. I'm finishing my dessert so I can move this and put some gloves on. Okay. And let's see. Let's try this one first. And I have paper. Uh, grab envelopes. I made a tool that's got like, it's like a foam kind of. Uh -huh. um, and it's two skewers broken in half with a piece of tape. And that way I can get some fun, even lines. I also have some spatulas. I have palette knives. So anything you guys have, you know, at hand um, to use, a paintbrush is even great. You can use the handle of a paintbrush to make swirls or whatever. So whatever you, whatever you can think of. So just grab a pile. And maybe some wooden skewers or popsicle sticks. Or even just a credit card or, a, you know, an expired card or one of those stupid ones they send um, you in the mail. I just grab a, a plastic knife from the kitchen, like a takeout throwaway plastic knife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Works. Mm -hmm. And... I want to get started. How about you? Go right ahead. I'm pulling out a couple things. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to put some gloves on. Because last time I had um, <laughs> inky fingers for a week. <laughs> if Not my hands really aren't messy, wrong. I did it wrong. I know. Mine That's the way always, I see it. Well, I always <laughs> think... I might are always like that, and I always think I should be able to do it and not always be like this because nobody else's hands always look like this. <laughs> Mine do. You know they do. Yeah, that's true, but that's you're not here. That's the sign of an artist. You're not here by me. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> true sign of an artist. Inky it's, fingers. Yeah. Painty always hands. Seven. Yep, exactly. And you um, notice I'm, I'm using a pan also to contain the mess because I am a messy person. I've I am a messy, high-speed person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, high energy. And we yes. know, try to slow the roll for this a little bit because if you just do it kind of slowly and, and uh, relaxed, it's much better than doing it frenetically because then you end up with a major mess. And it really doesn't have to be a super big mess, honestly. The way I'm seeing it, if I'm doing two pours, like as I scrape the stuff off the paper and then put it on a stencil on a piece of paper, I am already doing double time. So, <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> so when, when, you pick, when you pick up your um, piece of paper, oh, I need to cut my paper too. I ran out of small paper. I would just need to cut I this down. Do that. Um, when you pick up your piece of paper, you can put another piece of paper up against it to get a second pull off of the same shaving cream. It's never quite as good because you don't want to rub it around or you change the pattern on your first one. You just mush it together. But I'm going to uh, read the comments here. But it does give you something. Oh, that would be great if you could read them out loud. Uh, let me go back okay. uh, a little bit. Because I can't quite see yet. Okay, go back to double screens so we can see. Oh, <laughs> got yeah. cleaning craft area and was late. You're doing more. Oh, artistically creative. That is. That's Trudy. Name. Trudy. Oh, uh -huh. I know that. I yeah. My brain. It's just uh, a moment. Yeah. Yeah. We're just getting messy. We're getting painty hands. Um. Lots of colors Glennis has in acrylic. That's good. Combs yeah. and toothpicks, absolutely. Um, that's kind of what I made here out of this was kind of a comb, you know, because it's got four um, that I okay. have. I'm going to have first cut up some paper. And guys, if you've done or if you haven't done this before, I will say that um, it's easier to do it with small pieces of paper. It's much more difficult to do it with larger pieces. The larger your paper, the more difficult it is. So if you've not had good luck with it before and you were using good paper, that might very well be why. And often this is something that when you do this, now you've got really nice card backs 
or use these to punch out or die cut out. Um, you get some gorgeous, um, gorgeous punches and die cuts out of think, oh, you know, these kinds of designs. What in the world did I just do? Okay, that so one's a little bit. No, I don't have a lot of alcohol inks. Um, so I only have a few colors, but I do have some other uh, inks. Like um, I have the this color in Dr. Martin's, and it's kind of a yellow ochre. I do have like some other cheapy ones. So I'm just going to be using I those. Have, I don't have anything special. I have that one. I have that Dr. Martin's yellow ochre. Yeah. Yeah, we should try um, that with some other things. Yeah, I only have a couple alcohol colors here. So I do have some mixative. Oh, I have all of these little things. And these are a liquidy lumineer paint. Yeah. Anything that's liquid so, color. Honestly, anything that's yeah. liquid color works. So I am going to go ahead and go for it. So all I'm doing is taking eight and a half and eleven by eight and a half by eleven pieces of paper and cutting them into quarters. And do you need special paper? No, you do not. In fact, I pulled out three different weights to show you the one I'm cutting right now is cheap, cheap copy paper, just cheap copy paper. Some of the prints that I just showed you are just cheap copy paper. And then I just pulled out a medium weight copy paper, a little, you know, a little nicer copy paper. And then I pulled out a cardstock. But honestly, you really can't tell a difference unless you need the, you know, Sorry, heavier paint or something. Um, the type of paper you use just really doesn't even matter at all. I guess I'm going straight for this. But I'm going to cut them all now so I don't have to take off my gloves if I don't have to halfway through because I am out I'm of put them under my pan. Okay, so let's see. This is all just cheap copy paper. I'm going to set them right here. Let's get that shaving cream out of the way. Ooh, pretty, pretty. It's gonna be. Get these done first. I need um, to grab a couple extra so, towels, I think. So when I did these the other day in the kitchen, uh, I actually just used a paper plate. I just stood there with a, a small paper plate. So any old paper plate will work. Um, I brought in a couple of things tonight because I probably won't run out. Oh, I was going to bring in a little water and do show you the shaving cream on water. But if we want to, I'll run out and grab some. But I can get some. <laughs> Margie <laughs> wants to eat my um, tasty cake here. I know she said this looks like a tasty cake. It does look like a tasty cake, doesn't it, Marty? Hey, Pat. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do this. You guys know I've never done this, right? Uh, it doesn't even matter. Even a beginner can do it. Anybody can I'm do sure. it. I'm sure. Anybody can do it first time. All right. Y'all are totally worn out and just going to watch. <laughs> 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 that happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Totally is, out and we're not. We are. We're I just going on a second wind with, because of them. We are. Second wind? I'm still on yeah. my first one. <laughs> you know. Oh, we're going to go late tonight then, ladies, if she's still on her first wind. Because that means she's going to get a second one at some point. Yeah. This is a card okay. stock. Okay. Got now. Let me. Here we go with the stencil. I know this is noisy. I want to hurry and get these done. These are I cool to have way, so This seemed like the fun way to do it. Yeah. Those of you who make cards, these are really great card bases to have on hand. So I'm going to save that too, and I will. I think I'm going to pull out some full size sheets for my stencils. Yeah. Look oh, at yeah. That. I look for at my stencils. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to set this one over here, and I will get right back to this uh, and get the because I want to let it sit 
in it because if I scrape that little thin layer of cream off of it, it's going to smear my paint. So I want to let it sit for a minute. No, it shouldn't. If you scrape uh, it off, it shouldn't. If you um, wipe it off with a paper towel, it might. But if you scrape it off, it shouldn't. You should scrape it off right now before it gets hard. And it should come right off and leave your white spots white. Try it. I'm going to grab some uh, more copy paper. I'll be right back. It's by my okay. printer. Okay. All right. I'm going to put that one back. <laughs> And I did steal the paper towels out of the kitchen. <clears throat> so I've got them. Oh, got all kinds of things everywhere. Let me turn that. <clears throat> okay, let me open this, see what's in this. This is where all my neutral reinkers are, I think. So that's good. I need more counter space right now, and I am just oh, yeah. short on that. Yeah. <laughs> so let me move these out of the way. So the scraper that I typically use is this. It's just like a kitchen pastry scraper. And before you say, I'm not going to take my expensive pastry scraper from the kitchen, I got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it works great. And my trusty my plastic, plastic uh, takeout knife. All right. Okay, so there's my first marbly print. Could have mixed it up more, but I do have a lot of white on there, and that's okay that's with me because I distress everything. But you can also, when you ever you want, have shaving cream that you like, you can put that on top of another shaving cream. To yeah. Add a different color. Kind of like adding, um, adding a second pole to a gel print. Yes, exactly. Okay, and these are counters. Yeah, see, it smears it if you do it if you do it like that. It shouldn't. What uh, what kind of ink are you using? A reinker, uh, right? Sure. Of I've got some of the Lumineer paint, and then I've got uh, some uh, ink, some blue ink. Just like it didn't smear it on your um, your print. You know, when you scrape the shaving cream off, it shouldn't shave it or shouldn't uh, smear it on your um, stencil page. All right. So With get my stencils, paper. what it does is it makes the lines not sharp. See that? Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's, that's all it is. They're just yeah. not sharp. Do anymore. you want sharp lines or do you want it to be muted? Uh, I guess that depends, yeah, it depends on how you want it. I do. Different times, different things. All right. I'm going to see if I have, oh, not in there. Not in there. Shoot. Maybe. Maybe right here. I think I have a book that I could I'm use. I'm going to put stuff so I have more room. Period. And it's all. All right. I am almost ready to go. Billy just messaged me that she'll be kind of late. They're stopping for breakfast. <laughs> John's probably like, let's go to breakfast. And she's like, um, let's just go home. <laughs> <laughs> but Why my don't you want to go to breakfast anymore? <laughs> my online. I want to go home and play. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Let her know that we'll be here. That we won't yeah. be I'm gonna put turn. that down. She'll be turning us on and putting her uh, earbud in at the breakfast table. John yeah. will talk to her. It'll be like the guy watching the football game, trying not to let her know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna That's mix funny. this a little bit more. Glenn is already and add the first one and sent the pictures. All right, let me check. Let me check, Glennis. 
Okay, let's see what Glennis did here. Ooh, see, she put vintage photo in that one. I see blue and vintage photo. I think vintage photo is a great idea. I do too. I I and I really like it with with blues or pinks or any of those. Okay, let's see. I need make sure we're live. Let me turn that so I can see. Uh, let me see if these gloves fit. I've never done this with gloves on. I really thought I would I would to do so. I time working with gloves on. I can't I do, do it. Too. I've never I've never done it with gloves, but I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, I'll take them off and throw them in the trash that's right by my feet and go back to normal. But I'm going to try it just to see if I can get, keep from getting completely alcoholic hands, inky hands. I don't know. When I Thank see my inky hands, it reminds me of how much fun I had. So, yeah, that is a pretty blue. What's uh? It's what is mixed with a green, so it actually isn't that oh, it color. Like it's just, it mixed, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when it mixes together. Yep. Okay, so here's a plate. I can do it just on this plate. Um, I also brought, uh, I have, well, sitting here, just some little trays that I use for different things. So I could do it on that. I have never done it on this, so I didn't know if the shaving cream would eat away at it, but they're cheap trays from the Dollar Tree anyway. So I might try that because then I can just set that aside. The other thing you can do is get a larger tray like this. This is a, a bigger tray. And with this tray, I can, you don't use a whole lot of shaving cream or a whole lot of space. I could do it right here. And then when I've completely used that shaving cream, I can squirt some next to it. And then I could go to this end. And so I could really fully utilize this tray before having to go wash it. So I think I'm going to start with this little tray here. And um, let's see what I want to use. Um, I'm going to try some neutrals. You guys want to look at some browns and oh, there's my there's my watercolor ink. I put it right in here with my reinkers. Okay, I have a green and a raw umber and an orange and a red. That's all the watercolor ink I have. But let's see, in re-inkers, I know I got lots of browns and neutrals. I ordered a couple online from Wish and uh, I wasn't sure if they'd be any good. So, and they chart, you know, they sell them by the bottle. Mm -hmm. um, not by the set. Well, they might sell them by the set, but I I couldn't find them. Anyway, um, not not affordably enough, at least. And mm -hmm. so I have these little. I have a yellow and I have a brown. And I bought okay. these a long time ago, but I thought these might be good to try tonight too, so I can tone some stuff down. <sighs> I'm looking for. Matter of fact, maybe I'll do that next. So here we go. It's not very marbly, but it sure is a pretty color. There is a lot of difference in color, actually. Oh, that is cool. Love that. Marble. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even pull my uh, feather, st uh, feather stencil out. I love that. That's nice. Okay. Now I've got. Hmm. That stack of paper. And there's needs another paper. marbly paper. It's pretty. Do you guys see this? This green I used is the, uh, where's it at? It's one of these lumineers and it's um, metallic. And so there's like this fantastic shimmer going on yeah. in the spots it's that pretty. are still left green. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Guys, the most important thing to know is that you have to use um, shaving foam, not gel. Gel will not work. Just um, cheap Dollar Tree Barbasol for a dollar. 
it used to be the big fat can for a dollar at Dollar Tree, and now it's a skinny can, so it's about half as much. But it's you know it's plenty, still works. But just cheap, the cheapest you can find. Shaving foam, not gel. All right, let's see here. How about? Once I get some inks in there, I want to try some pearls too, alcohol pearls, see what they do, and, and mixatives. I'd love to try some mixatives. Um, neutral. That looks like mm -hmm. chocolate. Margie, I just added mm -hmm. chocolate to my cake. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and it melted it. It's that alcohol ink I was telling you about from, from oh, yeah. Wish. Yeah. Totally eight into this yeah that's exactly as i said when you put alcohol ink on it you actually can kind of hear it sizzle and you'll yeah. see it, you'll see it eat away at it boy it's sticky um terracotta rosewood i'm looking this for time, I am going to use some of these colors. I, have I haven't even opened yet. So I have no idea what they are. So let's see what let's see what kind of color what they look like. Okay, and here we go. And once you get your shaving cream down, and it doesn't take a whole lot. In fact, I probably put way too much on right there. But it helps to take a knife and just kind of um, make it all the same level. It kind of works better if it's all the same uh, or close to the same level. Man, this is probably enough to spread out over the whole thing, but I only have to put ink in half of it. And I can do different ink in the other half. It doesn't really melt. It just kind of sits here so you can just keep using it. This is a small, this is like half of a nine by 13 pan, this little thing I'm using. So yeah, I put way too much uh, shaving cream in. So that's perfect because it filled the whole thing when I only intended to fill half of it. It's that over enthusiastic squeeze of the nozzle. <laughs> okay. Do you, are you saying you have an over enthusiastic squeeze? Yes. <laughs> I do too. It's okay. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. I get excited. <laughs> okay. So I got those. I've got some. Okay. Of those. So can I just say, m my husband just walked in and he goes, that means two things. I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to leave that right there. <laughs> oh, all right. I am putting in caramel. This is caramel alcohol ink. Um, I'm going to try to remember to stay on half of it because I only need to use half of it. Now, your alcohol inks do dry really fast. So... Yeah, what I was going to say that I completely forgot from before was it helps to have the lid off of all of them so you can get them on there quickly because they're drying much faster than the watercolor ink would. And I kind of like a fork and I forgot a fork. So I just added, what did I just add? Caramel and, and... Um, all right, I think that's. I, I, I think was that's concentrating on something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> and this one's honeycomb. I'm adding honeycomb now. And then I'm going to do a couple of drops of coral. So I have three neutrals in there, and I'm adding a couple of drops of coral just for a little bit of pep in the middle of those. And some vigor. That's right. Sorry. Oh, I forgot my skewer. Where's my skewer? Where's my skewer? <laughs> I gotta find my shoot. I do need my skewer. That's what I mix it with is my skewer. I'm doing it with the knife because I don't know where my skewer is right now. I'm gonna have to have to go get it. Yeah, that's the only drawback of the right alcohol here. ink is that the alcohol ink does dry um, really fast. It really does. And I wasn't really thrilled about how fast it dried. 
when you're mixing it with another medium, it dries faster than the other medium. So correct. And Note to also, self. It dry when and the only problem with it drying fast is that that means that it doesn't spread in the shaving cream when you move it around with your skewer or knife or fork or something. Okay. It doesn't spread as well. Okay. And you'll see so, a difference as okay. they do the watercolor, watercolor inks. Except for that streak right there that came from that. That is beautiful. I would love this. Except for the streak. Yeah. Oh, streaks can be nice. So I'm going to pull this up here and I'm going to show you. I just use this little pastry scraper. I set it down. Take the pastry scraper. And this, this tray is too small to do it. I need the big tray. <laughs> do yeah, that just right like my... Big right drawing. That, turn it around and just scrape the other end. Other end a little too. Okay. Let's set that shaving cream back in there and use it. I do need to find my skewer or skewers or some skewer because that's my little mixing. So here's a bunch of neutrals with a couple drops of coral in it. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> But I got a little excited at this brown envelope that I've had sitting there. <laughs> Look that's at that. Pretty. That's pretty. Brown and blue. What happened to my... It's been sitting there for a while on top of yeah. the shaving cream while I worked with the other one. Oh, cool. Wow. wow. Yeah, isn't it fun? So what happens with this paint that has the shimmer in it, it reminds me of when you have a sticky surface that's got uh, little bits and pieces here and there and you do the gold foil transfer. I uh -huh. don't have that, but I've seen it done. That's kind of what that looks like. Like I touched it with a uh, gold transfer foil. Mm. In places. That's really cool. Okay, so. Wow. This is going to be too small to scrape into, which means I'll set over here to dry. There's my skewer. It means I'm going to have to scrape into um, another one. The problem is I need everything close within arm's reach. <laughs> I just need more drying counter at the moment. Uh, but the alcohol <laughs> stuff dries so fast that I set it down. By the time I do the next one, I can just set it on top of it. It really yeah. doesn't long at all. But, okay, I'm going to use that to scrape it off into the next one. All right, so I'm going to leave this kind of muddled mess here, and I'm going to add some kind of gold. Um... Wow, I love that. Okay, Trudy. See you in a bit. Does look like fall, doesn't it? Yeah, you did know what I was concentrating on, Trudy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know when you said yeah. that. Lots of watercolor paint and acrylic paint and sprays. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, I wanted to try it with the alcohol ink, though, because, or not try it. I've done it with that, but to, <laughs> for people to see it. And then I'm going to do some, um, like, Tattered Angels and some acrylic paint and some Distress Spray. Some of these have to be shaken up before used. And not stirred. What? That's right. <laughs> yeah, so I do use the unscented shaving foam. I'm doing a little planning ahead here thinking, okay, what mix with blue makes what color? So that's how I'm going to plan my colors going forward because I have a lot of blue here now. So I'm probably going to add red so that it makes some purple or, you know, probably go from there. Just makes uh, sense to move through the rainbow like that, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
It does. You move from one thing to the other. Right. Just by adding a color. This wow. color I'm going to use up. Let's see how liquidy this is. Not very, very. I should have brought eyedroppers down. I think I have to put water in this one. <clears throat> These were just leftover paints from a palette so long ago. I was doing some furniture and, and I just hate waste. So I put it in a little empty bottle and it's been sitting here. Okay, I'm just putting this in a larger pan to scrape it off. So I have a little bit of room. This, this. So then if you do that and you scrape it off and you find that you've got these white spaces and you don't necessarily want them that big, then you can go, oh, I see gold sitting there. I'll just put this white spot over that gold and pick up some of that. Let's see, this corner didn't really get much. So let's go for some of that gold right there. And right there, you can get that. And you can just add it where you want to fill in whatever kind of color you want. Margie, my tasty cake has gone. <laughs> the bottom of that pan is not flat, so I might just do it straight on my mat that I put down here. I put down that big vinyl, vinyl mat y'all got last week. Okay, so this one has <clears throat> uh, caramel and latte and butterscotch and a little bit of coral. And then I threw some gold mixative on it. So you just see a little bit of gold here and there. Let me see. Oh, that's so pretty. <clears throat> okay. I am gonna do trolls. That is my plan. What is your plan? Some neutrals. Mm, yeah, more neutral colors. I tend to like the vibrant colors when I do this, but you know, yeah, I just want to be able to. I want to use them, yeah. and I think that's what happens with a gel plate a lot. Um, I end up yeah. like I like playing with the vibrant colors, but then okay. I'm like, it's harder for me to use them later, and they just stack up. That's when you, you know need to die cut or punch out of them. Right, but then am I going to use those punches? That's the thing. It's just a matter of smaller. I read yeah. those colors. Yeah, but they're smaller, so they'll add pops of color instead of a whole, um, whole page of color that may be more than you would use. <clears throat> okay, so now that's all mixed together. It's kind of a orangey yellow base. What do I have in watercolor ink? I'm going to try an umber and a green. I have no idea. I might just get a big brown mess with this, but what the heck? Let's try it. I like a big brown mess. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't taste like Nutella when you lick it. <laughs> no licking your artwork. Uh, but if it looks like Nutella. <laughs> Who says right. that, ladies? No licking your artwork. Do you know this? <laughs> this is a trivia question now. That's true. <clears throat> Do you know, Marianne? I'm, I, I'm trying to remember. I recognize it, but I'm trying to remember who said it. <clears throat> what movie it was from. Margie said, yep, I ate it. Sorry. It's not from a movie. It's from somebody you might watch every Saturday on YouTube. But I'm going to leave that there, and that's my only oh. hint. Nope, then, then that's not what I was thinking. Tim Holtz. <laughs> Who said it? Oh, you did. Yep, that's right. He says it a lot. Don't lick your artwork. <laughs> okay. 
Look how cool that looks. Let's see what we get from that. Oh. Wow, that looks that like cake. That looks yeah. delicious. I had a really bad delay to YouTube. Yeah, it's been bad all day. I don't know if you noticed. We were having some you were robot several times yeah. today and we blacked out way worse times. than others. Yeah. I think maybe YouTube is busy. The highway yep. is busy. Yep. All right. Oh, this is gonna be cool. All right. I'm gonna start scraping these just directly onto my craft mat. Maybe I'll do uh, let's see here. I love this. Ah, oh, there's a lot of good moments in here. Yeah. This looks like a looks like a feather right here. It's beautiful. A lot of good moments. Okay. Oh I'm gonna do a my gosh. I'm gonna gonna love, love this one. <gasps> okay. Come show me. Oh my gosh. For neutrals, you think neutrals won't work? Oh, show me. Show I'm getting me. There. Do that okay, trick. I had a gross orangey yellow. I wonder if the color is actually going to show here. Gross orangey yellow base to start with. And I put watercolor ink in some green and some umber. Oh, and it's gorgeous. But I don't see really coming through on I love well, it. I YouTube yet, but yeah, it's vibrant. That umber and that green is super vibrant. Really pretty. Beautiful. That's oh, I'm I'm impressed with how that one it's turned out. You think neutrals look pie. nice? There you go. Neutrals this can be great. Making mud pies. Okay, so <laughs> I'm I'm gonna keep the same. I'm not even gonna do anything. To this i'm going to put another piece of paper on it i'm not even going to change it um and, well this side that got all smushed i'll bring some of this over but um uh the, here's there's a couple couple key things when you put your paper down it's important that you put your paper straight down flat and then you press it flat and then when you pick it up, it's important that you pick it up, not uh, just scrape it through, unless you want it all smeared. <clears throat> that is really pretty, huh, Derby? I'm kind of impressed with how that turned out. I, I, you know, didn't know, not used those colors before, but I like that. That's why I like experimenting. Sometimes I discover something that I wouldn't ever have tried otherwise. My so whole um, art uh baseline is experimenting yeah. if you guys notice that's what i love to do I, it's yeah. what ha what happens if i do this and what about if i use that you know i love that part i think all I artists think do it hard sometimes they yeah. just don't dare do it well there are two different kinds of artists and one is mathematical and one is emotional and it's that uh -huh. emotional artist that's more yeah. likely to try 19 different things yep just to see what they look like. Right. It happens. Yeah. Okay, so I just take this and I scrape from halfway down. Then I turn my paper around and put it in the middle and scrape the other direction. And on this little pastry scraper, then I got another one. Second one's not quite as intense as the first one which is kind of cool for layering if you're doing cards and you layer the same colored uh, marbles, but they're slightly different or they get softer. And then I just use my knife and I'll scrape the shaving cream off here and right back onto my tray. All right, that green is really super vibrant and it's still vibrant. So I'm gonna try this watercolor orange and see what it does to it because my base was kind of orangey yellow and then I had that burnt umber so let's see what uh, adding orange to this will do I'm just touching each one of these little paint dots so it doesn't look like a dot orange is sparkly 
So the thing about it is, oops, I didn't mean to squirt that at the end, but what the heck, I did it anyway, so let's just do this. I'm going to try making it run. The thing about experimenting is I always go, oh, what the heck, if nothing else, I um, get to see it mess up or get to see, you know, something stupid happen, something weird happen. If nothing else, it's fun to play, you know? Well, that's the point. It's exactly. it's like making mud pies. Here we are. We are grown. We are grown ass women. Excuse me. Playing in shaving cream right now. And how fun yes. is that? It's a ton of fun. <laughs> this orange has sparkly in it. And I didn't know it had sparkly in it. It's cool. I love that. All right. Let's see what kind of print we can get from that one. This is why I like to paint. It's the play. Oh, I know. About play. I love putting my fingers in paint. That's kind of probably why we like to collage because getting your fingers in glue is like the next best thing to getting your fingers in paint. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna make those giggly noises this whole time, I think. That's okay. I did I get excited. <laughs> yeah. I did the same thing the other day when I was making those examples and Okay, oh. so the gold that I just added is actually gold and it's got sparkles in it. Look at this orange oh. that I just added. Oh, it's not, YouTube is taking a minute. I'm just scraping it on there. But the orange I added had sparkles in it, and I didn't know it did. Oh, your orange almost looks like my yellow. Wow. Well, it's gold, but. Yeah, and this is definitely orange. It's a watercolor orange with huh. sparkle. Huh. That's cool. That's pretty. All right. So I am just about, let's see. I could probably. <laughs> Are your fingers okay? They look red in your gloves. <laughs> they look red in my gloves? Yeah. Paula asked if your fingers are okay. Oh, yeah. They're She's still looking out for a friend. Thank you. <laughs> Are you bleeding? No. <laughs> I do have some blue gloves sitting here. All right, this is just kind of weird. All mixed up, mushed up. All right, what color goes on top of all these mushed up colors and would make something cool? Yeah. I might need to add a little um, bit more shaving cream. Red? You'd get uh, kind of a kind of a burgundy or a um, you know, so just a little bit of red. This is now kind of a Bobby. mossy green. So I think red is a good choice. And the last watercolor ink I have is red. I'm really liking this watercolor ink. <clears throat> I'm so glad that he's home so he can hang out with the animals. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm sure because chaos has been driving me nuts. Something's wrong with her. She's been running around with her tail between her legs and... She's hiding, and but she wants to be at my side all the time. She's old. Hey, check it out. This kind of came uh, out like seafoam green. Uh-huh. In the end. So pretty. That looks cool. That looks They're very really cool. Seafoam green is, is very nice. And it literally looks like seafoam. <laughs> Go wow. figure. That is so cool. <clears throat> I might not mix this one up. I might let this one drip down a little bit. It's not going to drip what? very far. I was trying to let it drip, but it didn't drip very far. I'm going to do some more watercolor paper. And then I'm going to let you guys choose the color when I run this down a little bit. How's that sound? For those of you who aren't getting painty or inky fingers, you get to decide <laughs> what color <laughs> you want to see my hands. <laughs> <laughs> or what you think you'd like to see. I think that's a great show us or tell us what to do. Yeah, really. I agree. I agree. I would do gel or foam, gel plate or, or foam and tell us what to do, tell us what to use, tell us what oh, to do. Yeah. What that color? Yep. Ah, 
what color I, what technique. I will get to choose the medium though if it's going to be a powder or a uh because i don't have every color in alcohol ink um well it'll and be whatever, whatever yeah. you have in could be paint could be sprinkles could be spray who knows oh look at that my gosh. look at that okay so this green turned out to be like a camo oh that's pretty that's cool I like on that. a big card stop oh this wow green turned out to be like um a camo green and then when i added the red to it it's sparkly oh really interesting so you didn't swirl it you just dripped it on um i swirled it a little just not very much uh-huh you can see how it's still sitting on the tray i let it run like this and it didn't run very far and then so i sw i i didn't swirl it i ran through it uh this way and then that way a couple times and that's all i did so maybe i'll just swirl it a little bit more i'm gonna grab my new stencil and run these colors through. I'm going to grab some of this from the edge here. Got my stencil over here on the side. I'm going to grab some of this. All right. Don't dare pick up my phone with my gloves, Glennis. <laughs> when we're done, I'll I'll pick it up and show all everything you've sent. <laughs> Is she sending pictures like you yeah. don't have messy hands? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you should call her real quick. <laughs> <laughs> really? I can't tell Siri to call her. I you could it with like, my hands. That's like a what's on your shirt trick. Yeah, really. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she wants cream on my phone and then put it up by my face. Uh, okay, now it really looks pink. Now that red really kind of looks pink, and it's still very shimmery. Wow, that's really interesting. Okay, um, I think I'm going to. I'm about done with this pan. Well, I've got a lot of color here. Um, I'm going to try some Tattered Angels over here. I have not done this with Tattered Angels. So, let's see. This is so rockin' and dried lavender. Um, I think I want a third color. Thank you, Paula Derby. Yeah, it turned out really nice. What size paper are you using? Well, I cut them A4s in half, but then I had some 12 by 12 cardstock that I only had a few pieces of it, and I cut it into quarters. And I have a eight and a half by 11s. Eight and a half by 11, sorry. Okay. So you're using then Okay. So um, full size sheets to put the stencils on now. Uh -huh. Um and then I have a whole bunch of craft cards and envelopes and then some larger ones as well. I think it actually looks prettiest on that um cardstock though. Uh, yeah. uh on the cream colored cardstock. But cool. that just means that when I when I go to um distress and age my when these are done when i go to use them uh -huh. they'll actually look really cool when i right. take that brown to them you know yeah <sighs> yeah i actually was gonna do some spray too maybe in right now it's time so i can use up the rest of this shaving cream um let's see which one 
Well, I'm going to use the other end of this. This is just a tiny pan. It's it, it's half of a half of a cake pan, if that. Um, it's like maybe six by nine. Yeah, size of the envelope that we're sending is exactly what it is. It's just a small pan. So I've only been using half. So I'm going to use the other half before I encroach in it too far, and then I'll end up mushing them all together and then possibly adding a little more shaving cream on top of it to get a little more white in there and just keep adding different colors or types of mediums to it. Okay, so I'm not going to spray this on, but I'm going to take take it out and try to just drip some drops on. Drip from, some drops? Drip some drops from the, the uh, tube that I pull out. <laughs> This is interesting. This is called wedding pink, but it actually looks like wedding white. It's weird. I don't see any pink at all. It's like wedding ivory, really, is what it is. So, and this one is dried lavender. Come on. You know what really sucks? I don't have a sink here, up here, to uh, right. clean my pan all, off with. Yeah. So I brought a couple of pans. I mean, I've got one right across the hall, but I brought a couple of pans so I wouldn't have to. Well, I have a giant pan on my um, sale table covered with stuff right now. And it's too big for my desk, probably. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Mm-hmm. I could go get another one of these though, or grab a couple and take this one down if I if I need to. This is to. blue. This says this is supposed to be purple, and this is clearly blue. Oh well, that's funny. Come on, get enough out here. Shake, 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 shake your booty. <laughs> Trying to get enough okay. to come out on the end of this um, tube that it will shake off and it doesn't shake off very easily. All right, let's see what we've got with that. Mm. It doesn't look like the same piece of paper from one side to the next, but there's yeah. a lot of cool moments in here. Interesting. Like, I sprayed it. So yeah. check out all the feathering that happened right yeah. here. That's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. I would cut it in half, though, because it's like two different pieces. Right. And I'm just going to clean my little thing off over here on a piece of paper without a stencil. Not enough color on this one. I'm going to end up uh, doing something over the top of it. So, <clears throat> those tattered angels were not enough color. And not the color it said on the jar. The spray that I just used, I made. So yeah. <laughs> it's got um, a lot of color. I'm trying to use up some here that I actually picked up at um, an estate sale. A bunch of these tattered angels, and they're not completely full. But there's a couple of them that are full. They look brand new. But How that is clearly not purple. It's just bears. It's blue. <laughs> it's so very a really light background which is fine. I'm gonna put this over give me a little more space on that side and spread this around a bit. I need to get a little more color in here. All right so we can add purples to this. It's like a rainbow dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to just try playing with colors that you might not have played with. Uh, it's a good way to use up something you haven't been using, too. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> this is a Stampin' Up! reinker, Wisteria Wonder. Oh, that's nice. I'm trying not to add a whole bunch more to this, but I want to add a I little bit ex of add. extra color so I can get rid of it. So there's so a stamping up ink there, but I think I'm I think I'm gonna drop some acrylic ink with in with it. 
and even mix different kinds of mediums. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna get one color and type from one thing and another color and type from another. That's pretty, okay. You know what that needs right over top of it is some pink, doesn't it? Isn't that I perfect? still have some white shaving cream underneath. Isn't but that I crazy? I didn't even put very much out. Well, the you can't really go down to the bottom. So it's, it, it right. is, which is how you can keep, if you want to, you can just stir it up and end up with a light color to start all over with a different color base. I'm going to try a whole sheet so I can just get on with it. Wow. This isn't quite big enough for a whole sheet, but I can push it down. Okay. That's okay. Because I want to get on where you guys can decide my colors. Ooh, they can choose colors. We'll both do them and we'll do them differently. I'm sure we'll do them differently. Okay. That'd be fun. For okay. some reason, I thought the shaving cream would be easier to work with. Like to make swirls and stuff where it doesn't pick up the whole thing, like putting cream cheese on hot toast, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. It, and maybe is it my pan? Um, it might be that you're using too big of a piece of paper. The smaller the well, piece no, of paper, I've been, it is. Wait, wait, wait. I've been using a small piece of paper, and I'm talking about when right. I use the tools with it. Oh, you mean to make it swirl, to make it move? Yes. I know that some people were mixing it with water, and maybe that was why. Mixing the shaving cream with water? Yeah, where they oh. put water in the pan, and then they put a little shaving cream on top and stirred it. And what right. it did was change the viscosity of the water. Right, but you don't really right. mix it down into the water. You put a layer on the top, and then you mix it a little, mm -hmm. just a little, um, and then, yeah, then lay your paper on that but you still want that layer of shaving cream on the top even if you that's why i was going to put water in that cake pan i have there and i forgot i could have doug bring some in if we want to try it but so probably it makes you use less shaving cream hmm. you still have to have a really nice is? thick layer on the top of the water i just don't know what the difference is when i was uh, when I looked up a video and I saw that, I wasn't sure what the difference was. And I never did this in school. <laughs> Everybody's talking about how they did this or they haven't done this for years or their granddaughter did it, Lucy, or, you know, and I don't well, remember. I never ever did this in school. It. Um, I did let my kids play with shaving cream and tools on their kid table, though, when they were, you know. 20 oh, wow. uh, wait, 30 years ago that i was gonna say 29 cool. years but no <laughs> um, i never did this in school and my parents would never let us play with shaving cream or anything like that but um i did it years ago learned it learned it from a card maker i mean it's a old card huh. making um is type. it yeah there's a lot of like mixed media type things that card makers have been using for years they just don't necessarily think of them as mixed media because they've mixed been using hard. Yeah. 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 It all crosses over. I think sometimes people just don't realize yeah, how much it all crosses over. But I learned this technique from a card maker years ago. Okay. I'm going to run this down and I'm going to, well, I should pick that up right there because that's pretty. Um, and then I'm going to run it down to see what happened right here. Oh. It got pretty again somehow. Oh. I mean, I could keep using it, but I'm sick of blue, so. <laughs> so mix it all together really good and see what base color you get. And then let's see what color we could add to it to completely change it. It's probably going to be a blue-green. I could put brown in it. Okay, um, mix, it mix it all together and see if you end up with a dark or a light base or medium. Yeah. And then maybe some really dark red. I don't know. Maybe some really bright red. 
Brown and green makes, or I'm sorry, green and red makes brown. Does it? Yeah. But then, but once you put the red on it, don't mix it up. Just swirl it a little, but don't mix it all up. Okay. Let's see. Hey, what are that you? Thought you were. I thought, was afraid you were a dog in there. <laughs> I heard it rustling in his room, and I didn't know if a dog was digging through the oh, trash. Me out of Bill's room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know I'm going to end up with a like a sea foamy green. Yeah. Well, that's a good that would be a good light base. You could get a sea foam green. And it literally looks like sea foam. You could even add a little bit. Of, yeah, it does because of the shaving cream. You can <laughs> yeah. add a little bit of white acrylic to to it to make it a little bit lighter. I thought about could. white paint. And then uh -huh. you can just add whatever color paint you want to switch to. It's fun to, to kind of take it from one palette to a completely different palette without, you know, just yes. by adding, adding and changing it, not... Um, not removing it and starting over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let the ladies choose okay. what they want want to see. That is see pretty seafoam green. It looks kind of like yeah. mint frosted brownies. Yum. It does, oh. except there's no brownie. Those are the best. <laughs> mint frosted brownies. Those are the best. Or mint chocolate ice cream. Yeah. Chocolate mint. Yeah. Mint chip. Yeah, yep. I like that too. We do too. Hey. Honey, will you go get ice cream? <laughs> Honey, do we have any ice cream? We don't. We, we ate don't. it all. Seriously, we don't, honey? <laughs> no, we don't. I really wish we did. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Okay, ladies, you're up. I get to pick the medium. You get to pick the color. And there we have it. Metallic. Hey, you know I think I'm going to get a seafoam green too, but I'm kind of running out of shaving cream. I don't know there's enough. I might have to add some shaving cream to it, which will make it even lighter. It's kind of fun just mixing up the shaving cream. Makes me want to put my hands in it. Ooh, that looks like clay. It does. <laughs> it even looks a little gritty like clay. Yeah. Put layer of paper towels down. I might need to just add a little bit of shaving cream to this, which will, you know what? You could put this, put this all the way across in a flat, uh, flat level, and then put a little layer of shaving cream on the top of it, level that out, and you've got a whole new layer of white shaving cream to work with without having to go downstairs and dump it. Oh, that's true. That's very true. Um, Bernice said red, Glennis said metallic, and I tell you what I can do. I have a red metallic. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do that. Mine is darker green than yours. Mine's more, hmm, what is it? It is, it's kind of a teal, but it's a dull teal. It's a gray teal, not a vibrant teal. It's definitely darker than a seafoam. It's like a dirty seafoam. <laughs> so I'm going to use this, and it's a metallic russet, which is a red. And I wonder if it'll let me do my favorite cake decorating trick here. Let me see. Let's see what color metallic would that stripe on here. This dirty sea foam. I have some metallic gold and metallic silver. How about I try half on each? And purple and pink. I just did purple and pink, but I'll bet that would be pretty on top of this, too. Um. Hey, Ivy. Hey, gold. Ivy. Glennis, I'm thinking I'll put gold on half and silver on half. What do you think? 
and I'm just going to put acrylic paint. There's some silver. Okay. Okay. And it looks like periwinkle blue. And Sharon looks like sea foam on my screen. Sharon still looks like mint uh, mint chocolate brownies. <laughs> mint, uh, mint frosted brownies. Our grocery store makes them so, so good. Those were the ones we had on um, New Year's Eve on the live. <clears throat> I love mint. I will, you know those, you know those candy cane mints that are like chalky? Yeah. They're like after dinner mints or whatever, and they're red and white striped, but they're chalky. Uh -huh. I will sit and eat a whole bag of those like, like a candy oh. bar. Oh. I'm, I'm serious. I love, I, it's the texture that I love so much. Huh. No joke. I love mint, but I don't like mint candy so much. I like mint ice cream mint chocolate chip ice cream and mint frosted brownies and andy's mints and those kinds of things but not so much the peppermints and spearmint candies or gums my favorite ice cream is mm -hmm. um uh peppermint candy Ugh. <laughs> i know well, it's weird I a little but bit. That's I, like. I think that's, um i think that that to me is really good with a scoop of chocolate next to it the chocolate and the peppermint. Yeah. Once in a while, I put a little chocolate syrup on it, but just a little. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got a gold on one side, a silver on the other side. Hoping they turn out cool. See. Darn it. Oh man. That's a really liquidy paint too. I don't know why it's smearing. See that? But my little squiggles are that's my favorite cake decorating thing to do. Yeah. If I'm oh. Across. oh, I thought this was not good, but oh my gosh, when I got the shaving cream off of it, I gotta try the other one and then hold them up. Okay. Oh my goodness. It is not at all what I thought I had. Way better. Okay. That's one. I think I'm going to like the second pull better. Like in the same area. This is going to be considered the first pull again. Thank you, Edna. I look crackled, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that does kind of look crackled. I see it. Yeah, it, I see what talking about there. it looks like a chippy paint with this underneath. The uh, red looks like it came from underneath. Yeah. I don't like that line that I got just got there, but all right. So that ugly green that I had, I put silver metallic on half of it and gold metallic on half of it. Let me see. Let us see. I'm waiting for this open YouTube. Okay, I love that. This is cool. Oh. You did the same technique on the silver. I see it. Yeah, the silver and the gold. I did awesome. silver on half the pan and gold on half the pan. That's amazing. Yeah, that turned out I really super really cool. Like metallic. Wow. Okay, so that was after mushing it all together, and then I just um, drizzled silver on half and gold on half. So now... Cool. Let's, okay, see. let's see. 
not really. We're not alike at all. Let's see. <laughs> We've now, all said that. What can I add to the metallic with silver or with gold? Um, something bright with the silver. Blue? I think blue would be really pretty with that. I'm looking at a um let's see. There we go. Open blue yeah, crack ones. That's cool. Off the dry. So I've got a lot of floor space right now because I had all that stuff on a cart and in buckets on my floor for the sale. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I moved that cart away and packed everything up. So what I just did was uh, spread some paper out on my floor, some roll paper, that architecture stuff I have that's so big. And I've got stuff drying all over the floor since the dogs aren't up here. Cool. <laughs> it's like um, the baby's napping so I can uh, uncover the outlets, you know? Yeah. <laughs> It dries so fast. I'm just stacking them on top of each other on a tray. And they have curve because they get wet and they don't lay flat. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got, I'm going to try some of these. I'm going to put a blue. What have I got? Navy and a peacock. I'm going to try a peacock on the silver. This looks like mint chocolate chip, too. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> hey julie yes glitter paint would work oh that's a good point i have some glitter paint that i don't use for anything else because when it's like kindergarten glitter paint i should use that something yeah i think the cheaper the paint the better it might work here i agree julie something bright so i'm going to use this peacock over here with the silver, if I can get some of it to come out. Whoop. A whole bunch of it to come I out. have some of this um, Oops, uh, I didn't need that card. To come out. And I think I'll just open it up, do both sides. Let's give that another little zhuzh. Okay, um, let's put one of these down. I think this is one of those things where you come back to it and mm -hmm. it looks even better, like even where better. you're watching yeah. it happen, know how it happened, Just and like you kind of those what yeah exactly like when you look at it with fresh eyes in a while You're it like, looks cool. different. <laughs> this is one of those things that's great to do on a day when we're tired because you really don't have to think about it you just kind of do it and it doesn't even matter what you know especially if you're planning on making a mess yeah <laughs> oh guys you're gonna like this one you said something oh, bright yeah. I put a bright peacock on the one with the silver. And look what I ended up with. So this was that uh, dirty seafoam green base and I put silver in it and then I added bright peacock to it. I don't even see that seafoam green hardly on there anymore. It's certainly not what stands out. Yeah, I don't think mine's going to show up on this card. Okay. And then the other side, I have gold. And so I'm going to add hot pink. There you go. Yeah. Hot 
Oh, whoopsie. Oh, what? <laughs> Let's see if I can get over there to get some of that glitter paint. I pushed my cart over there. I might not be able to get past it. I wedged it in. This doesn't look very hot pink. Looks more orangey pink. But let's see. Oh, maybe it is hot. Oh, it is hot. Okay, oh. picking the next color because this needs to layer number two. See this? The green showed up, but not very dark. So I think another metallic, but I need a shade. Go ahead. You guys know I broke my toe this week, right? And it is purple. I heard the bone break. My toe was standing straight up when I did it. That it was so bad. So bad. <laughs> I've done that so many times. I did it. Uh, it was dark. It was like the middle of the night. And Bill moved the bed out of the um, spare room. Uh, or out of the art room here. And put it in the spare room. And so the headboard. We had to stack them up because they're both new beds. And we took out the bed frame. And the headboard he put downstairs it, in the walkway. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait until he can get into the garage. And I just split my toe off on it. <laughs> Do you it know was bad. that's why I quit going barefoot in the house? Oh I love God. going barefoot. That is why I quit going barefoot. Because I've broken my toes so many times running into things. Or running yes. through the living room, past the couch, and my baby toe catches on the corner of the couch, or whatever uh -huh. they are. I've done that so many times that I quit going yeah. back. This hurts too bad. Yep. I um, wear slippers most of the time. I mean, 99% of the time, I have slippers on. So okay, this is the hot pink on top of the gold. Let's see here. Copper, copper, copper. Ooh, copper. That's what Glenneth said, but I've got to find one that's not because that red is almost copper. You got another, you got another idea. Oh, silver we've got from Paula. Okay. Um, because this is nearly copper, and I don't think there's gonna be enough of a difference um between them. Silver, silver, silver. All right, let me find one. There we go. Pewter, okay? I've got this Lumineer pewter. By the way, this Lumineer exciter pack is really fun to play with. Um, they come in all of the metallic colors, and I think it was around $20. Totally mm -hmm. worth it because there's a lot of colors. I wasn't eating it. I looked down at her bowl and her water was empty. So it's jacquard. She's still drinking. Wow. So the last the last of the blueberry plants she dug up. Oh um, no. Put it on the um griddle. I guess we didn't want berries anyway. Yeah, we did most of the planting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are the blueberries or raspberries? I don't even remember. I, I think they're raspberries. I forget, but um, Monday, I need to fertilize and water the lawn. Get the water sprinklers going and water the lawn and get that going. Okay. And we can work on After planting those and we need to. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> oh, honey, that's funny. Doug, everybody says hi. Hey, Doug. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> He'll be back. Ouch. Okay. okay. I'm going to try. Not cold. this i'm not i'm not gonna swirl that one around this time i'm gonna try putting the first one down 
And then that will kind of move it. We'll see what we get on the second one. <sighs> All right. It's been a fun weekend with everybody. The market was really fun today. I'm I'm glad everybody was there and yeah, we got to sell. It was really great to see great my sellers. I have a lot more stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I bagged up like so yeah. many things. Yeah. I had so many packs. Yeah, we never get through as much as we prepare. No, but it's okay. It's better than not being prepared <laughs> with enough. Right, running out of time. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I'm gonna leave this here for a minute. The gold on, but I did not mix it in. This gold. So I kind of got that. So now I'm gonna do one more. Right over that. If I wanted to get my numinator dirty, I would use that right now to like press down, kind of like using the gel plate oh, or. Yeah, but no, you but I don't, hard. I don't want to get gross. But you don't press that hard on this because you just you'll press right through the shaving cream. Right. Well, I'm using fingertips right now. So yeah, yeah that's what I end up doing. Hey Doug. See oh, where I need it. Lucy. There's Doug. Doug. Yeah. Everybody said hi, Doug. Oh. But you were just walking away oh, before sorry. I could tell you. <laughs> sorry. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Are you having fun with your pink shaving cream? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're having so much fun. It's like making mud pies. Who'd have thunk that shaving cream could be that much fun? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, never mind. Honey, that's that's whipped cream. Oh, oh, that's right. That's yes. what he was gonna say. But I didn't. He didn't, and then you went there. It's okay, I did. <laughs> that's pretty. Sorry. Yeah. Look at this one. This one turned out cool. I like the gold. I don't have to put a quarter in the cuss bucket. <laughs> Who cussed? Who cussed? Nobody. I'm just teasing oh. about that. Oh, nobody cussed. We don't even have a cuss bucket. See, Glennis was thinking the same thing. I know they were. I was just, uh, I was just Doug. hearing the voice in everyone's head. Yeah, J Doug. Dougie. What? Julie said she loves hearing your voice. Oh. Oh, you just made his day, Julie. I love seeing your text, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hearing your texts if I read them out loud. Yeah. Hi, Lucy. Uh, Love Lucy's I pitter patter. You, I told you I fed her. Yes. Um, there's two pieces of food left that we had for dinner, so I put those in the baggie and you can take them tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All and right. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm just I'm sure I get it all. It's eight o'clock. She she's should. dead eating. Yeah. Well, hopefully she is because. So I mean, I just gave it to her. Yeah. Five minutes ago. Well, she might. You're making a mess. She, huh? You're making a mess. Oh no, I'm just bringing it all back. Yes, we are. <laughs> I've made that whole stack every different color under the sun, and I haven't changed my shaving cream yet. Wow. I just keep changing the color of it by bringing it back to a neutral and adding a different color. Cool. Yeah. Good night, honey. Let's see. All right, guys, can you see what I have? Kind of purpley pink on one half and kind of uh, greenish blue on the other half. What color shall I put on top of them? Darn it. Or should I add a little bit of more? I should add a little bit more shaving cream so I get a little bit of white. A little bit of more? A little bit of more shaving cream. Should I add a little bit of more shaving cream? She's Italian now. 
crema. A little bit more. A little bit more shaving crema. Get a little white to work. Ah, I see gray. <laughs> it is kind of gray. This is kind of bluish greenish gray, and this is kind of purplish pinkish gray. <laughs> So what I'm finding is the thicker ones smear more, no matter where you're, you know, without a stencil, they just smear uh -huh. more. Mm -hmm. There's the copper, the silver, and that, so the That's super metallic background. Well, people think you have to have, you know, nice and fancy paper to do this, and it's not no. true. Cheap paper, Copy works. paper actually works best. Yeah, cheap paper works great. But this is because the paint is a little thicker right here. So if you're not going to let it sit and um, absorb, um, then, and if you're going to scrape it off, then that's what happens. But tell me this doesn't look like, here, let me, tell me that doesn't look like a baby bird in flight or something right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I These love things so where you can see things in them. Like this, Glennis? going to look blue up there. This is called violet. I might need to go grab, grab a couple more colors of paint. Crab. I might need to go crab a couple more colors in paint. <laughs> Let's put some purple on this. I know what I'll do. Instead of doing it cross back and forth to put it on, I'm going to start in the center and I'm going to dribble it in a little circle-like thing. Should I put that on both sides, Glennis? The deep purple on both sides or just the one? What the heck? Both. Woo! Got a bunch of deep purple there. That was a good band, deep purple. For my time, I think. Deep purple? Yeah, you 70s, right? Deep purple. You got to know deep purple. I was born in 72. Well, I mean, I know deep purple. I just don't know deep purple. You know what I mean? Well, I, yeah, I don't either. I mean, you know, it was way before my time as far as going to concerts or anything. But uh, smoke on the water. Hey. Mm -hmm. no, but. Okay, so I am going to mix this all up. I'm going to get a grayish color, I think, because of the uh, Lumineer is, is not as liquidy as I expected it to be on the shaving cream. So it just it kind of makes a little dent and it kind of stays there. So I am going to move to some more liquidy stuff, I think. Okay, I put deep purple on both sides. <laughs> Sharon is a baby. <laughs> what? Yeah. I, Sharon's a baby. I'm 72. So, um, but I was the oldest child and I was always more mature than, and took care of my siblings. And I was always the, the perpetual, everybody's mom and mm -hmm. old inside. I guess that's what I'm saying. There. Boy, I made a mess. Um, my card. I feel like the shaving cream gets weird after a while, too. Ooh. Still have mint green. I feel like um, the more we mix it to a neutral color and then add color, the more we don't get, well, it's obvious, we don't get any white spots on our paper. And that's because there isn't any white in the shaving cream. Right. Right. I kind of miss so, that. Why I'll add so white on top. Vote here, ladies. Do I take this downstairs and give it a rinse and come back up? No, nah, just put Do some shade on top to add the white. 
I think you should just add another layer because when you swirl it, you won't really go down into this so much. I mean, it doesn't, you don't mix it. Even if you go down into this, you're just swirling. And so you can use a whole new layer, do it all again before you have to make the trek downstairs. Okay. Okay, start picking a color, ladies. So they're pretty. I just don't get any white. But I'm going to, before I add white to that, I'm going to bring this over. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. Hmm. Okay, I'm looking. Okay, pink we have. <laughs> Blue wrens. What? So, Lucy, are you saying that you want me to add more shaving cream? That's a pretty blue, Maria. Like this. All right. I just wanted to do that on my stencil with that color before I add white to it. Can you see what I have in pink? Like this. Or this. So there's some of that stenciled. So I have this pink, but boy, that's bright. I think this was me working my way out of a color I wasn't going to use. Um, and I added like a, a pearlescent pigment to it. Uh -huh. And I never used it. I was, I don't have a lot of pinks. I was thinking this one, but look, there's so not much different. <laughs> yeah. No, not really. Not not much. Much. Nope. All right, throw that one away. Now I'm gonna flatten this out. And I have this way. Interesting. Cream changes, um, changes texture kind of, but yet it doesn't melt and go away. It's still here. I hope this makes a kind of well. That's more green than blue. I was gonna say kind of a lavender, but. It's not going to. <laughs> All right. I'm going to add more shaving cream to the top of this. And then you guys can tell me what color to use. Where's my shaving cream? This looks like my house when I was in my 20s. It was all Victorian and roses and pink, mint, like greeny and pink. and. Okay, didn't see you come in. Yeah, Kendall, this this scraper, hey, I just Kendall. picked up a Dollar Tree on the wall. You know where they have all the kitchen stuff hanging on the wall? Yeah, I don't even pay 10, 15 bucks for these in other stores I won't name. But um, it was amazing. And it's, it's not flexible. It's not like that cheap aluminum. 
it's solid solid i really like it i'm kind of wishing i'd gotten a couple of them i might do that hope hope they still it seems like a regular item so they should still have it Need oh, some water. <laughs> two of these and i get this shaving cream at dollar tree too Don't you love the sound of shaving cream? <laughs> I do. Yeah. All right. You guys ready to tell me what color? I'm so how many of you have uh, been doing this with us? I know we asked at the beginning, but I want to know how messy your hands are. <laughs> As they can't type. <laughs> and what's working for you and what isn't. Because what that's, that's how we find new techniques. Exactly. What are you using? Are you using um, watercolor ink or alcohol ink or acrylic ink? I'm kind of liking the way acrylic ink is working. I really love the way the watercolor ink worked. Um, and I, I think I have a few more watercolor colors, but not accessible. So I've only got four watercolor colors. No, that may be the only four I have. That's all they had when I got those, and they're the only ones I've ever gotten. I think I'm going to, I think I want more watercolor. It's been on my list for a while. Track us down some more watercolor inks, because I like the way they work. They're not, they don't dry immediately, like the alcohol. I think I get liquid watercolors. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit different. Than watercolor inks. probably the same, but they, they're labeled differently, and right. more con traded and it may be yeah it because they are dispersed differently or dispensed differently that may they may act a little different just because they're coming out differently okay guys what color what color am i doing glennis has done about 18 acrylic painters are favorite hands are mostly clean <laughs> that's because she's using paint huh uh yeah i'm you know mine aren't too bad they're they're a little a little bad, but <laughs> yeah, I yeah, always end up being just my fingertips. It ends oh. up being fingertips. What was that? Glennis said pink. Uh, so, uh, uh, okay, pink. Um, I think I'd like to go grab a new color pink though. I only brought this one over. It's kind of a fuchsia and I used that one. So let me go over here and grab. Okay. I've got plenty of acrylic ink that needs to be used up. It's old. Um, I'm going to take off one glove. Maybe. With the pink. Hands get sweaty inside the glove. Oh, I'll just take it off inside out and get another glove. No big deal. Got plenty of it. Okay. Paula says bright green. Was that for Marianne or me? Because I feel like I've been in the bright green for a while. <laughs> Paula, I need a new color from you. <laughs> what is this? Shimmers. Oh, I've got some other watercolor here. Oh, yeah? You know, we could mix up like wash or watercolor and um, uh, tap it on like a like a splatter brush or like a dripper. Yeah. Um, that could also work, but it's just another tray of something on your desk. So if you don't These have a lot of room, uh, These are Tattered Angel uh, Shimmers watercolor. Sky. Sky can do. What color is that? Doesn't say. I literally say have sky here. Well, let me get the concentrate. This green. And then I have this, Dr. Martin's um, Bombay Yellow Ochre India ink. I might try. It's kind of thick, though. I know it's not very viscous, but. All right. Find it. Oh, here I got, I got a giant bottle of pink that needs to be used up. But I'm gonna grab 
I just got all my paints set up the other day. I have a paint station here, so perfect. I can see them all. And I know I had some. My gosh. Some, what, like sparkle paint that I'll probably never use for anything else. I totally forgot I got new paint and I haven't got to use them yet because I've been so busy all week and this these came in the mail. Yeah. I got some Wakely gloss sprays. Oh, cool. They're super pigmented. I only got three colors, but, you know, it's fun. Yeah. The one that's sitting here. Okay, what other colors should I get besides pink while I'm over here? Tell me what they say, Sharon. Oh, um, sky blue. In the chat. Uh, just sky blue so far. Uh, and glitter. And what? And, and glitter paint from Julie. Okay. Pink, sky blue, and glitter paint. Right. There's sky blue. Ooh, blue cotton. That's pretty. Uh, All right. Let's see here. Let's there's get a blue palette. Lighter than sky. Cloudless. Is that sky blue if it's cloudless? <laughs> yeah, that would be sky blue. I would think so. Okay, I got these Martha Stewart glitter paints. Let's use them up. Um, let's see. There's a pink and a purple. What's that one? A neutral. Go back around and ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Like I started here with this blue and some green. Start playing back where you started. Start <laughs> playing with paints and I don't want to leave. I just want to sit and do paints forever. I just love playing in the paint. I got a giant bottle. I didn't of even think about that. Hmm. Uh, Paula said sky blue, so I dripped some sky blue in there, and then uh, oh yeah, I have this palette. <laughs> well, you with that palette. The palette I had. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, she wasn't here for that. <laughs> did Margie fall asleep? Maybe. Mermaid color under the white. <laughs> okay, so, so you. Oh, this is pretty, by the way. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try something here. Let's see. That's kind of small. I might need to get some half sheets of paper. Um, let's see. That's going to be all. Envelopes that'll make great pockets um, in a journal. Because yeah. I can glue down one side and use the marbled side. Mm -hmm. Or, you know. I need a pin or a needle to stick in there. Get that dried stuff out of this glitter. I was going to grab my strip bucket, not my woo-hoo strip bucket, but my strip bucket <laughs> with my paper strips. Boy, I'm on one tonight. Um, oh, that caffeine. <laughs> but to, uh, to use in the little spaces, and then I forgot to grab it. I mean, I still could, because I have a lot of watercolor paper in oh, the strip. Really? Yeah. How do you get a lot of watercolor paper in the strip bucket? I cut them at my cutter. <laughs> and I end up with, because I'm looking for eight and a half by 11s to run through my printer. Oh, so you have 12 by 12s and so it's cutting them down? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> this is nice. 
So I'm loving these and there's a lot of good moments in here where I can't wait to cut these up and make some tags. See, I need it like this. It's fun. It's right up uh, This one. I let it dry a little bit. Look at that. Cool. So sharp. So cool. Yeah, I just scraped it down to the thickness of the stencil. And which they're really thin stencils. So that's all that I left on there. Um, so I didn't scrape it and blur my edges. And that's totally dry now. And there's no texture on it. I cannot get this dried glitter paint out so that I can get it flowing freely. So I got my new desktop and I'm going to end up with like stains all over it. I can tell. Oh, did you not put it <laughs> in the to... it? No, it, it can wipe down. It can. I'm just yeah. saying, you know how alcohol ink kind of, yeah. kind of uh, leaves a stain kind behind? Of. Alcohol ink <laughs> yeah. stains everything. <laughs> yes, they I, so. I put a big vinyl mat down on my table. Well, I have my uh, board underneath it. Um, mm -hmm. And then I have I have paper and stuff, but yeah. Ooh, pretty envelope. Look at that wow. envelope, envelope. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah. Man, I can't even get this glitter paint flowing on. It is clogged up. I wonder if I can get the top off. It looks pretty stuck in there. What's, oh, all right. Hang on, maybe it'll unscrew. Yes, Lucy, my pets are the boss of me. <laughs> oh. Until they grab the remote and run away with it. <laughs> yeah, Julie, I did do a, a couple pulls with the pink. Did you miss it? I'll grab it. Thank you, Paula. All right, I got the top off. I'm going to get the dried paint out. So I'll be able to squeeze through, hopefully. I'm literally throwing these in the corner behind me on that piece of paper yeah. I have on the floor. <laughs> I'm just wrapping them on Julie. top of each other. Pink. Not... Pink. Pink. Pink and mint. It's beautiful, actually. This one is my favorite, I think, so far. It looks like wood green almost. Mm. If there was mint wood green. Well, there is kind and of a green, bird. a green distressed, a greenish yeah. gray distressed look. Yeah, that bird is back right there. Oh, right. and right. Let's see if this will all right envelope number two and then um somebody Let's think of another out. color it's not even squirting out that is just low Annoying. cheap stuff all right i'm gonna have to well it's ruining my plan because i needed it to squirt out so i could write with it her evil plan is ruined guys the glitter the glitter paint ruined my plan <laughs> Evil. That's right. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm pulling it. Uh oh, it's stuck. 
It's very on there. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be pretty. I was going to write a name with it, but it it is just not working. I'm just going to squirt all this um, glitter paint out of here and put it wherever and try to move it around a bit. This is just really cheap, gross. Yellow ochre I do have. I have a cool yellow ochre. It's that Dr. Martin's or whatever it is. Same one I just um, pulled out. I think we've got the same one. Yeah. It's, or it's gold kind of ochre. Weird. It's Dr. It's Martin's. Weird, isn't it? Huh? I know that there are, I know that he has different types. Like It's um very, it's a little bit opaque almost. Does it look like this? Is it the long yellow ochre India ink? No, it's Dr. Martin's. This is Dr. Martin's, but it's oh. India ink and maybe yours isn't India ink. Mine's gold. Uh, and it's not India ink. It's drawing ink. Okay. And this is what color it comes out. Oh, I just did that on my envelope flap. How mm. stupid. See that? Okay. It's very, it's oh, a yeah. very, it's ochre. So it's got some brown in it. But that would be okay. That would be cool to do. Well, now I need to put other dots on this. There we go. All better. <laughs> now let's see if this blue one will actually... Oh, that's... Whoa. That's a spray. Let me see... Let me open that and see what we get. Ooh. All right. This is some kind of a weird spray. Let's see if that paint will drop out. Hmm. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh. Oh, that's a gorgeous blue. Mine? No, this one. Oh, yeah. I love that they want to watch us make messes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's going to make somebody else make a make a mess so you don't have to clean it up, right? Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Uh, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, stop. What? Uh, great poster paint, yellow ochre. Um, yeah, that did look more like a glue, very gel like, huh, Lucy? What? Uh, I want to go back here. Dawn said, stopping now, my back hurts from standing. Uh, 53 card size and eight full size. Holy cow. Use both copy paper and cardstock and stamping up reinkers. Don made a full stock of uh, card bases. In doing this tonight? Yeah. 53 of I them guess, in eight full pages. I guess if um, we weren't talking. <laughs> really, she kept, let's see. Uh, she kept using up foam and got some softer muted that she loves plenty of paper for a granddaughter to play with mostly her, used mostly her favorites purple pink and yellow okay let me see here I'm this is something well i don't know don how old is your granddaughter something fun to do with the grandkids but not if they're too young that it's just more of a more work for you because they're it's such a big mess but if they're old enough to you know be able to handle it check it out okay this is the dina wakely gloss spray 
Okay. It kind of made it look dried out. Do you see that? Yeah. It's a gloss spray. Do you see yeah. that it changed the texture a lot? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's interesting. I just thought I would add a little color to it. And that's supposed to be purple. It looks pink. <laughs> it's pink. Can't. I just thought it would be, you know, just for a second to get a pull or two sure. before I add the glow, but <laughs> yeah. a, lot, a lot seems to come out. It's very concentrated. I got marine, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I got um, uh, cheddar, and I got eggplant. Uh, that cheddar is supposed to be really like cheddar. Really, it really looks good. Like cheddar. Yeah. I love playing with new mediums. So I never buy a whole set first to, so, so I can see if I like them. Mm -hmm. But I thought these were really fun because you don't see a gloss spray ever like this. Not like, this is like paint. It's like, it's like very opaque. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be fun to mix with the other sprays oh, yeah. and all my DIY sprays. And I still want all those Tim Holtz uh, oxide sprays because I'm, you know, partial to mm -hmm. the oxide. Right. Let's sit for a minute and get another one. I, I probably have a lot of uh, 30, 30 papers behind me. Probably. Let's try this one. I thought if I added the eggplant and then I mixed it together, I might end up with some, sort of a lavender mm. periwinkle. With the blue yeah. well i haven't mixed it, it yet so i don't know ah. <laughs> i'll let you know in a minute <laughs> okay. all right so now we need some of that pink paint on top of that so this is glitter what color is this have you added white paint uh no i put a layer of uh shaving cream like you did this i is thought so i might cool. try some white i don't want that <clears throat> This one is glitter paint. This is a Martha Stewart glitter paint, which is purple sapphire. Shake that up a bit. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, so added purple. Let's see what we get with that one. She's five, so maybe a little young to do this with. It'd just be more work Man. for you, huh? <laughs> a couple of years. So, Dawn, I, my kids, I had five that I raised, and three of them were stepsons that were like my own, and they were like stair steps, and I had to run my house like a preschool just to survive, um, and and I'm here alive today because of it. But uh, they had a uh, round kid table that was larger than most kid tables because it had four little bucket chairs. We added a stool in. But I used to empty out uh, 
back then very expensive can of shaving cream onto the table once in a while because it was so expensive. Well, I was um, expensive. We didn't have Dollar Trees back then. I And we also had ketchup in the fridge at the end of the week because we were feeding five kids. Right. So, I mean, it was just, it was a lot. But um, it was still always on my list because uh -huh. they had so much fun playing in it. And I would get out, you know, kitchen tools, stuff from my utensil drawer and some trucks and, you know, things that would make tracks. And they had so much fun playing in that shaving cream. And it actually would bleach their table out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So at the, you know, after a while, their tables get all sorts of messed up. You know, you can wipe them down, wipe them down, but they get stained with spaghetti sauce and, you know, whatever. And that shaving cream would actually bleach them. So you should try this. This would be fun with just shaving cream. Just shaving cream and fingers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe a little it's, watercolor paint or uh, something. food color. No, food coloring could probably stain. Yeah, food. Yeah, it definitely would. Yeah. Um, egg dye tablets would be yeah. fun. Yeah. Although a lot of them stain badly too. Um, I did see uh, somebody for their classroom took chalk, colored oh. chalk, and uh, went over it. And you need a lot of the chalk, but they were given a popsicle stick and a, a big piece of sidewalk chalk. And they scraped it. And you can also do this just on water. And it actually sprinkles the paper in colors and it oh. it won't see their hands hmm. you know the colored sidewalk chalk not the right. white Doesn't make any sense <laughs> but if you use black paper it would be cool yeah Ooh, metallic paints on this are cool on black paper oh yeah I almost got some black paper out. I didn't. Hmm. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that is. That doesn't look purple, though. It definitely looks pink. Very pretty. Yeah. Vibrant. Pretty vibrant. Okay. When you saw this one, which I'll probably cut in half because it's two different fields. Mm -hmm. But look at that. Fun. Blue ones. I'm going to run back into this pink a little bit. Okay, ladies. I'm mixing. We're going to see what we come up with here. Thank you, Edna. Thank you, Paula. Shiny. Mm. <laughs> yeah. She saw something Julie shiny. Said she, squirrel. Julie said she's glued to the screen. Awesome. Um, this must be more exciting for you guys than I, I was worried that it wasn't very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always fun to make to watch somebody else make a mess when you don't have to yeah, worry about I guess if I think about it, I love snow plate videos. Love them. Like you love even if I don't feel like a watch. Yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. Thing. So yeah. fun. <laughs> I like I like it, but I then I can only watch it for so long because it makes me just want to do it. Yeah, I, that's the I'm thing. Getting, if I'm exhausted, oh, yeah, yeah, huh? And so I'm like, gonna I'm put gonna some more of this um, plant in. but only so I can get a periwinkle because that's what I'm hoping for here. Why does that look so pink? Eggplant is usually a darker color than that. Yeah, isn't it interesting how we get completely different things? 
<laughs> Margie, lots more interesting than sitting here twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> Watch you twiddle. Well, that's your... what friends are for. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, this looks like an Easter egg nightmare to me. Let's see. <laughs> and he's actually, I have a nail polish color that I really like. It's actually it turned out better than better than that. Better than I expected. So I know I'm going to want some white space. So what I'm going to do here is add some white paint and see what happens. What if, here we go now. White paint, that's interesting. White paint, I'll try it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I might get my white space that I'm after. Well, exactly. You know, and it'll soften these colors. So you turn the shaving cream non-white, then you put white paint on, you should be able to get white again. Like bleaching it back out. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I should use glaze. I have white glaze because it's thinner. And I have two bottles of this white glaze, so I do need to use it. All right. So I want to go like this. Oh, I'm going to like this one. I think I'm going to like this one. I'm not done. I still got to scrape the other side, but. Uh, Kathy, you might be able to use nail polish on the shaving cream, but you'll make a bigger mess and ruin your surface. You can use nail polish on water and do uh, the same technique and it's a called a skin i don't know if you've tried that but you can actually get uh even more designs out of that because you can get like drips within drips that they're circles that um graduate in color or or Shoot. size it's really fun actually now i smeared it now i ruined it from what i originally had that i liked i smeared it All right, we're going to see if that works. This is a pretty color of blue, though. It needs more purple. That blue That's was really intense to put in earlier. Pretty. Ooh, I can already tell I like it. <laughs> can you guys see through that? Oh, yeah. It's like birds. This is like um, gel printing without a jelly plate. Mm hmm It sure is. And more randomness. And a jelly, jelly plate yeah, is pretty random. Is, a jelly plate is uh, much easier, honestly. You have a lot more control. It's, so if you yeah. do this, jelly plate's no big deal to try. So I'm going to let this sit for just a minute and let that kind of absorb because the I did, I'll just end up smearing the white paint. Uh huh. Look at how pretty the feathering is. Okay, I think the second pull is going to be the best. You know, the second in the same spot. Uh huh. I should cut my paper smaller. According to the size of my pan, I'm going over the same space twice while I'm. Half of the page is on a new spot. Ooh, I just added texture. I wadded up What'd my you paper do? towel. 
I watered up my paper towel and went to daub up a big glob of something and it added texture. It pulled up and left texture on the, on the print. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Like texture. Earlier I used the wrong side of the card and it was where it was perforated uh -huh. and it actually stripes on my, on my, um, where I scraped it. Yeah. Which I wasn't after, so I didn't like it, of course. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do something see here. Happy accident. I'm gonna, like, isn't crazy enough, you know. I have a plan. Watch out, I have a plan. She really? has a plan. Scary. Yeah. So, I'm going to do this. Because there's so much paint on here. Ah! Get over here. All right. And do a, a ghost print almost when you marry them. Like a like a when you kiss them together. Same with over here. Let's sit for a minute. I need another hand. <laughs> I always need another hand and more counter space. Yes. So that's the kiss. I think it'll dry nice because the glaze always dries nice. It's always got a different sort of look than regular paint. Oh, that looks like birds to me. And I love it. It looks like cracks, crackle, or birds. Mm. And there's little bits of other colors in there that I don't know if you can see on camera. A little bit there and there. Oh, wow. I really like that. So, I think... Hi, Judy. Hey, Judy. Looks like messy fun. Yep. It is messy fun. Yeah, Lucy, I have a silver glaze and white glaze. And it worked. I mean, it, it totally made white in my blue foam, which is cool. Look at that beautiful beautifulness right there it's feathering nicely Margie said it ain't polite to look when they kiss him that's right <laughs> <laughs> oh Margie <laughs> I can't believe how well the white glaze masked that. What it did was create a bald spot, basically, in the foam, I think. Because mm. it, it made sure that no blue got down to that. Mm -hmm. Birds to me. I'm going to get something to wipe this off on. I don't want this glaze all over my stencil. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to get something that I've been working on. It's going to get layers and layers and layers of good stuff. Some of this stencil with this 
uh, shaving cream and stuff would be fun to put into the art journal, um, trying some different techniques with the stencils. Oh, yeah. That's kind of what I'm doing right here. But you know the boxes right. I told you I worked on yesterday? I'm not in my art journal. Yeah. Yeah. One of them I glazed and one of them I covered with awesome paper and it's going to get completely decoupaged. And it's um, a box that's perfect to hold like 12 by 12 papers. Right. Um, and it's really sturdy. Um, and I'm one of them that I painted, I actually want to put lots of color and gel prints and that sort of stuff on. So I'm just going to be swiping my paint off on it. Oh, those are so pretty. I like those best. I really like the way that color came out. It's almost gray. Almost. Not quite. I need more desk space, man. <laughs> you know what artist does it? Right? <laughs> Always. That's a given. Well, There's so much we have, have, it's never enough. When I don't have this uh, sale stuff all over, I actually am going to have an extra table with the cutter on it. I'm really cursing myself just by, by I'm jinxing myself here. Uh, mm -hmm. The tool with the cutter on it and then the end of the L-shaped desk on the other side for my, the, you know, behind my desk right. where the sewing tool is. Yeah. I yeah, should have cat. those. We'll see. <laughs> Look at my kitty cat. Let me see. Oh, did you stencil through? Uh-huh. I love that color really is cool i was trying to get to purple self i wonder if i can get this one look here doesn't matter what i, I do i always come back to purple i always get back to mint or, or teal. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. Well, this is a color that's in my room, so it works out. I got a lot of dry stuff here. I need to stack up so I can get to it. Get to more space here. This is a great flower that I stenciled. Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. That's Watch. a cool stencil, Marianne. Watch. That is so cool. Half. Um, there we go. Okay, so now it's on YouTube. What? Half of it. Half of it's on the vinyl. Watch when I pick it up. Pick up the plate. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I did it on purpose. I only wanted it half on there. Oh, I feel that little space up there. I just didn't intend to put the other half on the vinyl, but it's okay. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's really funny. I love that that swirly, um, leafy kind of whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but I love it. That stencil. I do too. It looks um, folk arty almost. Yeah, it does kind of. In fact, that might be the brand of the stencil, folk art. That wasn't what I meant, but you know what I. Yeah, no, right? I know what meant, and that's okay. like, yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, <laughs> it might even be the brand, just because it looks that way. <laughs> I think if we have potential to be goofy tonight, uh, any minute now, it's coming. I feel it coming. You think we're going to have enough energy left to be goofy? <laughs> That's I when think once I get beyond tired, I'm goofy. So, yeah. yeah. I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together. Now I'm ruining my flower, my stencil over there. I should wait till it dries because I want to get both of these Look on. at this. This is a paint that I had planned on using, and it uh -huh. has zero 
Um, I made this a long time ago, and it has nothing in this bottle that I used on this pan. Look at this. Tell me this isn't my favorite color. <laughs> it's patina. That's, that's what this is. Oh, I like patina. Yeah, that's that's the intention here, and it was for a dresser. Yeah. But that wasn't the intention here. I just happened to always have this color. End up with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me see here. Okay, I've got to change this now. Julie, I'm going to use that yellow now. Give me a second to get these cleaned over. off. Yep. Because I'm getting the same thing over and over here. Oops, I moved that and messed up my flowers. Love it though. Because I moved it. I, these are my favorite so far, honestly, with the glaze. So they all look like birds to me always. See? <laughs> birds. Birds, 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 birds. That's what they look like. That's funny. I really like them, though. So, Dawn, I know you're done. Um, tomorrow, take some pictures and post them in the group. Oh, yes, awesome. please. And we'll do that. I forgot to take pictures of last Saturday night, so I'll do that and these. Oh, you know what I didn't do, Margie? For Easter, I always go get some of those malted eggs. Yeah. Some of the... <laughs> oh, Like malted milk ball the, eggs? The robin eggs. I love them so much. And I always complain that they should have them all year round and not just Easter. And I totally did not go to the store and buy anything for Easter. So Bill brought home a couple of the caramel eggs. But, What's the yeah. difference in the flavor of the, the malted eggs and, and like malted milk balls? Uh, the candy coating on the outside. Oh, okay. Malted milk balls, the, the malted milk stuff inside gives me a headache. Malted milk? That No, that those malted milk balls. I haven't really? eaten them in years because they always gave me a headache every time I ate them. Do they give you a headache? Look I at my hands. <laughs> I don't know, but they did, so I quit eating them many, many years ago. <laughs> I know. There are other candies I would rather have anyway, so. Dawn said she already posted. Oh, nice. She's on it. Everyone was at it, but Easter egg died. They should keep the dye all year long. <laughs> <laughs> or, you should, or we should go sooner. I've had some of those little tablets for or years. We not wait till the last minute. Okay. I'm so blue. I've just I'm been so dealing so with blue. blue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, am I blue? Okay. I think. This is purple pigment powder. Yep. Look at that. So here we go. Oh, crap. Julie, I'm sorry. I forgot about the yellow. It's not. It's not what? Too late for the yolk for the ochre. It might be ugly. We'll see. Mm -hmm. There's a cool stencil. It's world. What? That. Oh, it is. I have that stencil. That's funny. Do you? It's a plaid stencil and it's old. I've had it forever and I've never used it. Wow. I got it for furniture. Like it's yeah. from like the 90s. Yeah. Oh, well, mine isn't plaid and it's, um, I don't know. I haven't had it since the 90s for sure. Huh. 
Well, it might have been a furniture stencil. That's possible. Mine might be slightly, slightly different, and I think it is for furniture. Start to scrape metal here. Yeah, I can Okay, I'm going to add one more on that same page. Keep my fingers from touching it and destroying it. I'm going to grab the strip box. Where are you? Everything's out of its place still. And there's another stencil on the bottom. Mm -mm -mm. See, I can see just cutting out these stencils and using them. I, I like really liking doing it over the stencil and then what we end up with after that dries. I'm, I like what I end up with after that um, shaving cream dries. It's, it's very thin. Good night, Edna. Good night, Edna. Thank you, Don. That is a cool stencil, isn't it? Have the rest of a great weekend. Good to see you so much this weekend. Yeah, that was really fun. Thank you. Um. All right, so. Maybe what I'll do is clean my knife and clean my skewers. And clean my scraper right into that tray. We need another paper towel. Yeah, I could scrape all this off into a paint tray. Yeah? Um, to clean my pan. Yeah. I really want to get to some purples and beiges, I think. Together? Um, yeah. Okay. Like some muted, some muted tones, you know? Mm -hmm. Like we use. I'm going to do this. So... Debbie, how are you and Jill doing? What kind of mess are you making? They're awful quiet. They must be well, messy. Yeah, are you up to your ears? <laughs> <laughs> they're probably having a ball laughing. Yeah. Uh, your ears in shaving cream. That's why you can't type. All right, I have one more of those. Where did I put it? Can I leave it over here? That's right there. Okay. So, I'll use this tray. I'll keep using that tray. Make this my shaving cream tray. I'm going to drop this shaving cream tray into the big tray to carry out to the sink. I'm still letting these things dry. Okay, there we go. All right, now I have a fresh, clean palette of shaving cream. Yeah, we use it with stencils. I scoop my leftover into the garbage. <laughs> I just I just turned on the hot water and washed it down the drain. Oh, do you have the energy of these two, <laughs> Marty? <laughs> oh man. She's talking about Isla, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Yeah. Energy? Yeah, we don't. It oh, all the way. <laughs> I live on coffee yeah. and sour cream. <laughs> coffee and what? And what? I didn't Soft hear. coffee and sarcasm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, and I don't. I don't live on coffee 
or sarcasm. <laughs> not that there's not plenty of sarcasm in my life. There is. <laughs> Love it. That's all Margie's fault. <laughs> but yeah, really. <laughs> I get plenty from Margie. I don't need any more. <laughs> um, I don't drink coffee. I remember um, I had a job once and um, I hate me. Somebody, somebody offered, offered me, you know, said they were going to get coffee. Did I want one? And, and my manager goes uh, director. I was the manager and he was the director. He goes, don't give her coffee. She's already high on life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just had to laugh. Yeah. But, oh, I, you know what? That's a compliment because so many people are dragging into work, just sour pusses and mad at the world. Yeah. And everything's always wrong and complaining about everything. And I'm already a high energy person. Um, yeah. That doesn't mean I don't get tired. I do. Oh, um, yeah. And I, I come from a long that. line of coffee lovers and I still love yeah. coffee. So yeah. it I probably works. Um, Riddling for Adderall or, or Adderall for uh, or riddle for Ritalin, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> did that make sense? <laughs> it made no sense at all, but I know what you were trying to say, but it made no <laughs> sense. At all. See, see, I'm taking it all the way. You're drinking the water, <laughs> the Kool Aid. That's me. <laughs> I need I to like drink more water, apparently. Yeah. Oh, I could use some water. I didn't bring any in. <laughs> I don't like cold. I though. have already used a bottle. It's almost gone. I just finished my soda, but I forgot to bring my water bottle in. And I filled it. I'm famous for filling my water bottle and then leaving it sit out there as I grab an armful of things to bring in here. All right. How about I try these? I've never tried these before. These are Tattered Angels Shimmers Watercolor. Paint and brush. Well, I don't have a brush, but we can just drop them on here. See what happens. <laughs> Argue and settle for half of our energy. Sarcasm is your forte. And that keeps me going, Margie. You know that. I know the energy is astounding. <laughs> sale was lightning fast to stand track and all this. This sale did seem to fly by. It did. And I'm sorry if I went too fast, but that's my speed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I have to make mental I, note to slow down. I do. Yeah, and I, I was really trying to get through a lot of it. Right. And I think you also felt like it was the end and they'd been here all day and time was short. Uh -huh. and you, you know, you wanted to get I to this stuff. To sure that it was yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's I think, exactly what it was. I think under different conditions when you you know your your brain set, your mindset is different, it'll be different because it, it is a it is a more fun sale, a better sale when we just relax yeah. and have fun and 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 let the sarcasm flow when Margie's there. It's a much more fun sale. <laughs> well, if like when you and I go back and forth and trade uh -huh. off, mm -hmm. that's fun. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then everybody has a chance to get a break and oh, check this out. I didn't There's drink any more there. coffee than I normally would. I just didn't move. <laughs> There's a brush inside this. I did not know that. So what's all this stuff? Is this pigment on the side what that is needs it? to be mixed up this is tattered angels shimmers watercolor and it says paint and brush and i didn't realize there's well, a brush cool. inside attached to the the uh, lid that's cool so this is I, a perfectly great color and i don't want to waste it but I, i'm sick of looking at this color <laughs> i need well, to move on to a different page I just got some fresh. This stuff doesn't come off here very easily. It takes forever. One drop at a time. I don't have time for one drop at a time. Uh, I just got some fresh white shaving cream. So, all right. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. So I'll put my finger over it and see if I can do like this and let drops come out. 
I will spread this on my box that I'm making um, in a minute, though. Or when we're done, or I'm not sure when. Color. That would be awesome to put on box. This is nice color. I love it. Um, and I already put gesso on it. So okay. it just needs, you know, I planned on adding a lot more colors to it. Okay. But uh, I can't put this down on the floor, though. I don't want anybody to get into it. Well, you all it takes is to that door open. Is any well when you leave tonight you can shut the door, right? And then the door's not gonna be open till you come up in the morning and open it. Uh if Bill comes up here to go get into his drone room now, he could leave the door open. I mean oh, it's Bill. Yeah. So well wait, <laughs> Sorry, <Annie. laughs> if he comes up now, well, yeah. If he comes up now, you're yeah. here so you would see him. Oh. But tomorrow is Bill off tomorrow? Uh, yeah, he awesome. hasn't been having days off and he gets tomorrow off, but I think he's planning on going, uh, mountain surfing with his friend. Yeah. Uh, with his drone, they wear goggles and go mountain surfing with their drones. Cool. Yeah. I don't think stickles yeah. would work because stickles is more, it's like the nouveau drops where yeah. it's not really liquid. It's, uh, I uh, have a bunch wait. of to use up too. Don, I'm going to come up with something good to use those up. Because I want to use them up and, and then move everything to uh, Nuvo. Um, I really like the Nuvo better than the stickles. Um, so I'm going to come up with a way that we can use the stickles, not just have to waste them, but we can use them. Okay, those are the three colors of that watercolor paint I have. Watercolor ink. That's interesting. It's like Christmas with gold. Red and green and gold. That's a really Christmas pretty gold. gold. I really, I'm not crazy about that green, but I really like that yellow. It's a goldy yellow. I really like it. It's very pretty. Hmm. I'm going to do a little bit more of that. So the video that I ended up watching, the gal used her hands to flatten out the shaving cream and i thought oh that looks fun yeah but no <laughs> but no let's skip that <laughs> no because you can't see i mean then you can't do anything without taking your gloves off or washing your hands right, or right, something right. I don't, you don't even want to pick up your piece of paper right so i'm gonna do this brown so we end up with a tan And let's see, a little bit of yellow. That's right, Julie, using the yellow. I got yellow in here. It's what well, it's gold this ochre. Is, this is a lot of yellow for me. And, the, and I'm going to, I want to try that ochre that I have too, so. All right, let's see what we get with this one. I think that's going to be a lot of yellow and nothing else. It's what I think. It's what I think I do. Looks like mustard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine does too. Looks like yellow mustard, not Dijon. Yeah. Just yeah. yellow, yellow mustard. Mine mine is Dijon -y. The bright. Mine's the bright yellow mustard. It needed more red or pink or something in it. Mine did. Hmm. Now I want more watercolor paints or what? Just watercolor ink. Okay. Ooh. Maybe that turned out better than I thought. It's funny how we think, oh, this is going to be beautiful, and then it's not. And then one that we're not sure of turns out gorgeous, and we didn't expect it. Mine looks like 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 honey mustard, I think. Hmm. Huh. 
now that I, I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. I'll let that sit for a minute. I'm going to do a couple of these and then I'm going to add some purple, but I got to figure out what kind of purple because obviously the uh, Lumineer paints are too thick. Did you see the one I was What's just holding that? up? Didn't no, I didn't. Yeah. Okay, oh my God, we have the same palette going on. Seriously? Really? Huh. We, uh, we haven't even looked up at each other. No. Yeah, I think that this needs a little more red. That's exactly what I was I thinking. Like that. It is. It's cool. Uh, but I was just thinking a little more red in that, um, in with that yellow. Um, and I'm going to add purple to mine now, but, and you go red and I'll go purple and we'll see where we get to. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like sometimes there's not enough colors in the rainbow for my brain. I I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, I don't have the right color red. There, you know, and how many colors are red are sitting here? It's just well, I just feel like there should be more colors on the planet. You know, right. like there's mystery color we haven't discovered yet. Well, my thought, and, or, I mean, it was, it's like I don't have enough colors to choose from. It's thinking. mostly because I use colors all the time. I use paints all the time. I use so I'm like, I, and I have all the colors, but I feel like there should be more colors. Mm -hmm. right yeah i agree yeah we should petition somebody about that more colors please you go talk to president biden <laughs> let's put some I energy the towards color. I, like the commander of the universe is in charge of that bit <laughs> yeah. some, uh, let's put some energy towards color and quit some of the other garbage <laughs> yeah All right, let's see what we get with this one. Ooh, I'm liking it with more red. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, we do have a lady in a red dress in our uh, journals, in our journal kit. It would yep. be really cool to have some customized pages for her. Did they have marbled paper like this back then? Well, yeah, they, they go back to all the inside yeah. books. <laughs> oh, all, marble all is the thing. And, and even book covers. Okay, check well, this out. Real marble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. I like the way that one turned out. I'm still waiting for it to come up on YouTube. That's is yours really no, I see it. Is yours up on YouTube? Uh, they're in my hand. Okay. My, no, I mean, <laughs> I meant mine. Yes, mine just it's now is coming up on YouTube. Time. Mine is a really bad delay. Worse, probably the worst I've ever had. Really? Take now you know how the rest of us feel most of the time. <laughs> Miss technology. Yeah, yeah that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty bad delay. <laughs> I just <laughs> tore my paper. Oops. So I've been working on this for a little while. It's been sitting next to me. Uh -huh. And I've got colors from the last palette with the purple and the blue. And by the way, the purple did not work on the flat piece of paper. But running it through a stencil like that really worked. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Um, and then I put a little up here. And then I left the rest of it until I got this palette. And then I finished filling it in. Look how gorgeous. Wow. 
Seriously, I love it. Yeah, that is pretty. I feel the need That's to so do good. some stencils with with this uh, these colors right here. It's like a boho dream right there. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I didn't pull out very many stencils. I'm wishing I had a couple other very specific ones. Okay. They're so soft. Yeah. All right. Another one of those. Oh, those are cool stars. Yeah. Those are way cool stars. That. I'm going to make more stars of different tones. Let's see. I have to make a little more room there. And I want to get some of this. Your that? phone? Um, I don't think so. Or maybe it's my computer. No. Could be my computer. Probably Glenn is texting all the things she's made, putting us to shame. Probably. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I do. How many crafts on their bed? She is fast. Yeah. No blue, no green. Tell me. No blue, no green. No blue, no green. I'll end up back where I was. Unless you want. Yeah. You'll end up back in the same spot. I mean, you can yeah. do blue and green, but you'll end up back in the same spot. So I will. I will. I'll always end up with the same color in the end, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. What? <laughs> what purple? Oh, I have that. Purple lazy stuff. Oh, what else do I have? It's purpley. Oh. Oh. Oh, stab myself. No, no blue. I picked it up. I put it back. No blue. No pink, no blue. Got it. Okay, we're gonna try this one. I need to use these up anyway. I'm gonna go a little crazy here. Nice. Because I have Judy just got a can of shaving cream tonight, so she's gonna do this tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. Did she just run to the store and get shaving cream? Because she saw yeah. us do this? Well, she knew we were gonna do it, but she was busy, so but she just got it tonight. I don't know if it's right <laughs> that's now. Or, awesome. or on our way on our way home. <laughs> The tool that I'm using, this is just a, like a pastry scraper, but it's from the Dollar Tree and it's really super strong and sturdy and it works great. It's hanging on the wall by where they have all the kitchen stuff, the, the spatulas and, you know, knives and all that stuff over there it was, yeah, it was over on that wall. It wasn't hanging on the wall. It was on the shelf right underneath the wall because I think it was stuck in a box standing up, standing upright in a box wonder if I can put that right back down where it was. Ooh, I can. 
because I need to get some of that excess off there. Oh, I didn't know I had that all over my finger. Ah, shoot. Now Do I they look like mine? Huh? Do they look like mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't know that I had that on my finger, and so I picked up the stencil. Then I set the stencil down and didn't re realize I'd gotten colored shaving cream all over it, and I set it in the middle of a picture that... Oh, you know, oh, that's... Like, Never go back and try to fix something because when you try to fix it, you make it worse. Make it worse, yeah. Always, every time. Do you ever notice that on art projects? No, no. Um, actually, I was going to say, if it's I would those are dry. the accidents that make me like what I'm doing more than what I had planned. Well, it depends. It depends on yeah. Yeah, the thing and what it is. And, um, but sometimes if I would let it dry, it'd be fine. I could, I could fix it or, you know, just finish that, whatever. And, but I don't, I don't have the patience. I don't wait. I think I just, I'll do it now. I'll be careful. <laughs> oh, those, those happen to me too. That, can't. that definitely happens. Yeah. If I'm frustrated, it's worse. Oh yeah. Way worse. Wait, wait, wait. I missed some. That's cool. These are cut off from uh, just scraps mm -hmm. that were glued together and cut off. Nice. Um, so it's it's like uh, cardstock with um, book pages. Oh yeah. And they're in my strip bucket. I love and... stencil right off the edge. Right. Me too. Or doing half a stencil. I love yeah. that too. Exactly. I have, um, let's see. I think I have right here. Can I do this without getting shaving cream everywhere? Because I have gloves on that probably have shaving cream all over them. Let's oh, come see. on. Get your hands in there. No, I'm going to go get something. I don't want shaving cream all over my room. I don't care about the shaving cream. <laughs> I don't want the paint. I don't want to ruin anything. <laughs> right, right, right. I gotcha. Okay. I understand, I guess. I know. <laughs> I guess. I suppose. I suppose so. Okay. Let's see here. Not very old. All right, I'm going to make my way over here and grab myself. There we go. There's another. I like this one. It looks like roses. That's so stupid. Oh, cool. It just needs some leaves. Yeah. Draw some greenery in there and um, have uh, some rose, uh, you know, 
Mm -hmm. A bouquet to me. Yeah, I could see that. All right. <laughs> Just oh, thank you, know. Cheryl. Just need to know what is this down here? Yes, Cheryl. Which Cheryl? Uh, Cheryl said, is the basic idea that you dye the shaving cream and then paint and it, it and press or scrape it over the stencil? Um, well, the stencil's not part of this. It was something we added because we yeah. just didn't want to waste the shaving cream. But um, the basic idea is to get a, a marble effect on your paper when you press yeah. it down in there. And it seems to look better if you have some white space. The other idea is to experiment and see what works for you. And we're really liking using the shaving cream and paint uh, with stencils to get cool. Yeah. After. All right. This is what I'm going to grab. I was going to do book paper. So I just, I'm just cleaning my card off. Uh, that's all I'm doing with it um, over here on my side. So that one, I, I went back and forth, and it looks more marbled. I love these shapes. So I was going to do some book pages, but I decided to grab these. These are like electrical drawings and, and uh, calculations pages, and I'm going to do some stencils on top of them. It's going to be fun to use those pages. Let's see. Oh my gosh, my hands are a mess. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know I had a good day. <laughs> yep. That needs another layer. All right. Now I'm going to do some of this one. I think. Now I'm going to put some out on the paper on purpose. Just to kind of add some of that color to the paper here and there. Okay, should I add uh, some more purple now, guys? Some a different shade of purple, or some more yellow, or maybe go with some red. What do you think? Or pink? <laughs> Just trying to stay away from green and blue because <laughs> you'll end up there anyway, right? I will end up there. You I mean, paint with it. Huh? This sh you can even take this shaving cream with your fingers and paint with it. I'm just painting. Oh this yeah, thing. I've actually seen them do that for kids. Um, right. with uh, okay. uh, food coloring and mm -hmm. shaving. That way, they can't spill the paint. Uh huh. And then have them use a paintbrush and paint well, with it. It's more fun than just getting your hands into the paint. Right. And the paint everywhere. I love that. It's like we just we get to be adults and, and we just feel like we can't do that. We can't make a mess. We can't get our hands dirty. You know, I don't know why. Where we lost that, what we had as a child. Who are you talking about, Willis? I <laughs> I never lost that. No, I I know what you're saying. You do know yeah, what you're saying. As a general yeah. population, adults, don't you think? All of a sudden, we had to be proper and follow yep. the rules and not get messy and mature. Yep. Uh huh. And mature, mature didn't do childish things and right. Mm -hmm. And I still like to uh, 
get messy and I was going to say go streaking. I don't really like to go streaking. That was a joke. No, uh, I, I just wouldn't I want love, that. <laughs> yeah, really. I love getting messy. I love messy experiments. All right. Yeah. Everything um, I do is an experiment and that's what I love the most. That's it's fun for me. I need a gold. I thought I had a gold. That's, no, that's bright yellow. That is not good. It's better. These are cool. That just looks dirty. I think that needs another layer. See my page? Okay. Oh, that's cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it needs another layer, though. Um, mm -hmm. Just, I mean, this looks, these look really cool. They're just really faint. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, um, I'm going to read up. And see what everybody said for color here. I should have grabbed a brush because this needs a brush. <laughs> Margie said, yeah, Ranger doesn't have enough craft stuff to play with. What yeah. do you mean? Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, Margie, I do think they don't have enough stuff. I go out searching for new mediums to try all the time, like the Deanie Wakely gloss spray or, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's fun. Check, this out, Karen. check out my, uh, uh, let me see. Check out my page. Sorry, I was reading comments. Okay. Are you frozen? No, I don't think so. There you go. Did you go over a book page? Uh, yeah, it's a book page of like electrical stuff. That's cool. And I did the stencil on it. Then I did around the stencil. And then I went over the top of it with some of this butter color shine, which is really yeah. bright butter. Yeah. But that'll be a fun page to play with. I'll have to do something to the back of it when it dries. Good for you, Kendall. She said she still plays with Barbies and old vintage toys, so she thinks she's a child at heart. Nice. No, nope, an artist. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> yeah, see? When you said Cheryl, was that Cheryl Foos that came in? Yeah. Awesome. She didn't think we'd still be here this late. I said, of course we will. When you get yeah, off. delirious, though we are. Right. Look. Okay, we still haven't heard from Debbie and Jill. I'm sure they're up to their ears in. Yeah, I'm sure. Or they logged out because they were like, whoa, this is too messy to watch. Yeah. It's like a train wreck and I can't look. Nah, they're doing <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Miss Debbie, Miss Jill. Uh, tell us what you've been doing. We'd like to know. Ooh. The world wants to know. Yep, all your husband's DIY books. These are perfect for it because these are great books to collage <laughs> with. And then just your husband's books. Only his, yeah. though. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, his are just DIY. Ours have good stuff in them, right? Good art stuff. Right, <laughs> right, right. Don't tell him, though. Whatever you do. But I don't. I don't know what happened to your book, honey. Really? <laughs> how did that? How did that paint get on there? I don't even know. All right, I'm going to turn this one over on another page as soon as I there we finish that. Um, need a little bit of. That's so cool. It does look like marble. Ryan said that word. What word? Wash your mouth with the shaving cream. What what would it what did I say? What did you say? Uh, did I say husband? <laughs> Sorry, Margie. <laughs> Is that what I said? Uh, Cheryl said, now I know what I can do with all my husband's DIY books. Exactly. I That's think exactly. adult was the word. Adult. Oh, adult, adult. yeah. You think we're supposed to be adult? <laughs> yeah. And it's it, not like he opens them. You're right. You're right. Yeah, exactly. I know. 
you could rip out half the pages and he would never know because the book still sits on the shelf yeah. with some pages in it. I have a better idea. Do it with all the instruction manuals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. We all know that joke, don't we now? Yeah. Except uh, the important ones that you might actually really need. <laughs> well, not the ones you're going to read. The ones that <laughs> never opened. Yeah. They're still oh, in yeah. the package, that plastic exactly. sleeve, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Those ones. Yep. Okay, that, yes. I agree, Judy. The marbled papers would be great inside book covers um, as the book end or end oh, papers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can make your own because that's how they always used to do them. Yep, as the end papers. Yeah. And and now you have a way to make your very own marbled paper. So you can say you made every part of that book, which is why I like making my own papers as well. If I don't have old stuff. Well, you mean all those gel altering, altering your own papers because <laughs> right, you didn't yeah. make the paper to start with. Adults, what adults? Margie, who are you talking to? What adults? Yeah, that. So I'm going to try something. Paint everywhere. Boop, all over my watch. Texture on here. Just not really a pattern, but a pattern. Because I have a plan. <laughs> well, I'm just playing. I'm sticking my fingers in shaving cream now. And Okay. And uh, mixing it around with a certain ink on the page just to see what it does, what it looks like. I, I made a texture like a hills and valleys. And I'm going to see what happens if I use spray. And uh, don't be fooled. I made this. I just recycled the bottle. And I'm going to see if I can get it to drip down into the hills and valleys. Mm -hmm. Boy, that looks good. It's peachy. Peachy. It's just peachy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now I have an ugly mess. Um, hmm. I'm going to add this all over. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Where did that yellow go? Oh, that one's gold. That's what I wanted before when I got the yellow. Hmm. Oops, don't pull that one off. That's the sprayer. Boy, that's pink. And clearly clogged in a moon shape. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. And, um, well, oh, maybe red. I made a background. <laughs> it's about all it's good for, but a good background. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's what it reminds me of. Lucy, I've got I've been putting stuff together in a bin for paper making too. Thought I would try to try it this summer. Joy Medium Light Magicals. Um yeah, we I've we've both got it sitting here and I don't I don't think we either of us tried it yet. But it is sitting I here to do that. try it. And it, it just makes sprinkles. And I'm looking for more of a marbly sort right. of effect. It'll work. It just makes more sprinkly. Well, it needs something on after it in order to activate it. Something I liquid. think you need to spray it with water. But if you spray on it with water, yeah, on the shaving cream, that'll just melt the shaving uh -huh. cream. Um, but it might work. I don't know. It might be cool. Who knows? 
We don't know until we try. I just, I, um, I'm just looking for more marble I right now. I'm just okay. looking for mess right now. I'm just looking. Oh, to okay. Well, then, play then you're up. Color. I'm just looking for color. I don't care. That's I'm I'm ready for that. So let me see. I can bring this shaving cream back here, and I might need to take a break. A little bit I of right on top of it. And let's long just ago. What did you, you what stop drinking coffee long ago? <laughs> normally I drink I I you know I drink more coffee Saturday a day than I normally do, mm -hmm. but I also move more uh normally. So um I didn't have any I didn't bring any up with me for this tonight. Mm -hmm. And normally I have some sitting do. here. Yeah. But my bladder was just jumpy earlier because I was just sitting here drinking the coffee and not working it off. So. Yeah. Yeah. Not burning any calories. calories. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so well, burning right. off the caffeine. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> burning calories, burning yeah. the caffeine. I okay. think I need to go um, uh, downstairs, though, finally. I can't believe I made it this long compared to earlier. All right. so what color shimmer? These are like magicals. This shimmer powder. What color should we use, Lucy? We have solar flare, violet brocade, cherry bomb, golden sparkler. I kind of want to try that one. And falling leaves. Um, hmm. How about, well, I feel like I'm going to end up back with the same pink and purple. <laughs> okay. Like so I do blue. Mm -hmm. So look for. I'm going to love this one. I can already tell. Cool. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. It's like a peachy and pink. And that mm. peach in it's just oh, sunset. It's Sounds like a sunset. Um, not quite in person. Peach and I, peach. I see pomegranate, and I see a peach oh. that's really just lovely. I don't know. Maybe it's sunsetty. Okay. I think it's a bit too too uh, fuchsia. Um, who said something about cheese? Oh, Julie said, Sharon, that looks like cheesecake. Way to go. Now we all want cheesecake. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay. Everybody, <laughs> there it everybody is. Watch. Look at this. This is fresh, um, shaving cream and I just sprinkled shimmer powder on it. I'm about to spray it with water and see if it will activate it instead of just melting the shaving cream, which is what I would expect it to do. But what I'm wondering, wait a minute, I have another idea. Okay. Instead of water, because I really think the water will melt the shaving cream. What if I spray it with something to activate it, but something that is so light or almost clear, like a Tattered Angels, that's um, super, yeah. super, super light. That one is pretty light. Let me grab Absolutely. One. So that it does the activation, but it doesn't just melt melt the shaving cream. Um, oh, Margie has cheesecake in the freezer. Yeah, thank you, Paula. Too. Thank I you, Shell. Margie, get out a piece and share it with me, will you? You get to take uh, both bites. <laughs> Yours than mine, then yours than mine. Okay, I found a Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist that is vintage Christmas white. Um, nuance powder. No, I don't. Who makes nuance powder? I've heard of that. I don't know who makes it though.
Oh, I'd love to come and get it, Margie. Well, yes. Okay, Ron, it actually it actually is kind of activating them. You can see, you can see all the color coming out around them already there. Um, I think it's going to take more than stirring it around. Yeah. I have a different idea that would have worked for that, I think. If you what? sprinkle first and then put the shaving cream on top. Mm -hmm. And then when you do your little swirly swirly, when you add another color to it of something else, water. I it think would it pull stay. up I think some of it here on the shaving cream. I think it'll but stay don't under the shaving cream. Don't you get to the bottom of the pan sometimes? Because I uh, rarely, rarely, but you don't really mix it. You swirl it. And so even if you're, you're, if, if my skewer goes to the bottom of the pan and I'm swirling it, it's not turning it, mixing it. So the bottom doesn't come to the top and move around. It's just moving it side to side. So the bottom stays at the bottom. So I don't, I don't think I would get to that. Okay. So, so I have to if you were going to do shallow shaving cream, it would work, I guess. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to try to activate it with this Tattered Angels uh, Vintage Christmas White. But it isn't water. Are they? They're water based, though, aren't they? Are they? Um, it is water based, so it should work as an activator because it is water based. Hey, Marianne. Yeah. Before it gets any later, I hate to say it, but we need to do a uh, drawing. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, <laughs> we do. We need to do the um, inspiration, the weekly inspiration drawing. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, you and have I have the tonight. prize for that this time. You have a prize for somebody tonight? I do, and I'm also going to include some of the beautiful marbled papers oh, that cool. um, for anybody that didn't want to get messy. Okay, this is a second pull, a second layer on one. Mm -hmm. Remember I had the purple earlier? I said it needs something else. Uh -huh. Well, putting the second one over it, look how cool that came out. Oh, it looks so like it's cake different. frosting. <laughs> it looks like cake frosting. <laughs> this? Yeah, no, mine, right. mine. Oh, oh, oh. Mine just looks oh, like. <laughs> I want ice it. cream. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream and cake sounds really good for That's birthday right. month. Okay, I am going to grab a. I'm going to take both of these off. That's dangerous. Take both my gloves off. I'm going to grab my notebook. And I'm going to get the list. Oh, uh, Glennis has an updated list, she said. Okay. I think she sent it to me. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Um, and I'm uh, not going to pull that beautiful paper pack to my desk. I'm going to tell you what's in it. Because um, I don't want this on it. It would be bad. Um, there is some beautiful, if you were at the sale earlier, I had two other packs exactly like this that I gave away. Oh, and cool. the addition okay. is, and so it has some beautiful rose drawer liner or floral drawer liner and like uh -huh. Victorian colors. Um, it, I added uh, to this specific pack, I added one of the, the uh sort of parchment uh envelope and card with the um the yellow and orange flowers on it what are they uh -huh. lily lilies no the ones that are up right now i can't think of what they're called and it has a variety of uh vintage papers that you know you can't find anywhere mm -hmm. else in it well, sure. and i'm also going to add some of these probably because i have nice. several of these out so cool um probably some of these ones that look like these are my favorite color and they look cracked and, and the not that probably some of these and maybe a pink one and a little bit of color variety okay 
Okay, I'm writing the names down so we can get them into the drawing. Okay. I'm going to need to write that down somewhere too. Sticky note. I got a sticky note right here. I got your sticky note right here. <laughs> I got my pencil. I hear you need pencils, miss. <laughs> hey, miss. What? <laughs> keep a pencil lid going. I don't know why you don't just move to a pen at that point. But, okay. <sighs> I really like writing with a pencil. I like the feel of a pencil. I don't know. I go back and forth from pens to pencils. And right now I'm in a pencil mode. I always use pens. <laughs> always. But I use really crazy colors and stuff. That's always yeah. the mode I'm in. Yeah. Right. Softness here. Let's see how it comes out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do an envelope. Please. I hope that's not going to work. I'm over here talking to myself. It's cool. It's okay. I'm just writing down all the names <laughs> off the list. And I have to write them down because some you get one for every day that you posted an inspiration picture, inspiration post. So some people are in every day. And so they get an entry in the drawing for each one. So I have to write them all down. Let's see here. Did everybody get inspired by the gorgeous things that everybody was posting this week? That was so, the goal. So, so. Yeah. this next week, l l how about we focus on posting something to inspire others? So something that you've made that might be inspirational to others to try it, try the technique, uh, make one like it. Maybe it's just for them to go, oh, I could do that if they haven't had much confidence in what they felt they could do or just inspirational colors or whatever it is. And we do have one more way for them to enter. Um, and that is what we talked about today. If they make uh, mm -hmm. the project we're doing tonight, if mm -hmm. they do this and they post pictures anytime this week, they will get an extra uh, entry in the drawing. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Yep. Cheryl Bernie. Um, yeah, Tina, it's my birthday month, um, in case you missed that part. So, drawings galore. It is Happy Paper People's birthday. And we are celebrating with gifts all around. Gifts for everyone. You know, Marianne and I met doing this. I mean, well, not this exactly. <laughs> this is how we met we just started talking on um some group. On, on well it was your video uh yeah yeah it was your video where you did your uh i don't remember what it was uh well, maybe was, you had just learned about junk journals and was it the inspiration right. book or i'm sorry well, the uh, book? yes yeah. it was yeah. something that yeah and you had yeah. just started your channel Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and we just started talking, and well, I said, "Oh, my, yeah, my channel had been going, but I was talking about doing a Facebook yeah. group, and Julie was pushing me to do a Facebook group, and I just kept feeling like I wanted a collaborator." Uh huh. And pushing and pushing, you and I started talking, and like two days, we knew. We knew. We just knew. Yeah, and we came up with a name, and here we are. Here we are today. A year later. That's awesome. right. 
We are now beginning and, the second year. That's awesome. And this community um, has done so much for me. I know it has for so many of you. Oh, more this so is the most amazing group of, of people ever. Seriously, it is. Yeah. Everybody's I there for everybody. And, and I love how we rally mm -hmm. when somebody needs us. Yep. I love that. That's, that's what we do. Yep. Everybody's a sister or a brother and uh, part of the family. And we rally. All right. Let's see here. So this is an envelope that I folded in half because I needed something that small. So now I'm going to take the other half of it and run it through. Because that might end up being a pocket in a journal or folded up and made into a book or <laughs> who knows. Who knows what I'll do with it. Yeah, I, I, have it. I was over there writing names down. I didn't even see Tina. Come in. Hi, Tina. Tina. Oh, yeah. We were just talking to her because she didn't know what the drawing was for. Yeah, she's been a little preoccupied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, okay. uh, we're thinking of you, Tina. You're in our prayers. So there's a lot of people rallying for you, girl. We love you. A lot of people rallying for you. I want you to know that you're loved and thought about. And definitely thought about, yes. Prayers. All right, I'm looking for either a bucket or a baggie. Baggy always works. Here's the same one we used last week. I'm not going to set it up there. It'll get foam all over it. Uh, and now I'm going to fold all the names. You have to do this before next time, so I don't have to do it during. Fold all the names and put them into the baggy. You know what I want? How would I do with those? I have my re for somewhere, and I have um, some oh, that's oxide. Okay. I have some oxide. You can lurk anytime. Yes, please lurk. Anytime. Okay. If you don't feel up yes. to chatting, that's fine too. If you want to just pop in and say, I'm here. I just don't feel up to chatting. I'm just watching. We totally understand. Um, Tina, what kind of dog do you have? I think I heard that you have multiple dogs. Is that is that correct? But I know you have one that's traveling with you right now. What kind of dog is traveling with you? And Sharon and I are both getting back to doing more tutorials. We've had so much going on the last few months. We've uh, we've done some live tutorials, but we haven't recorded much in the way of tutorials, and we really miss that. And people have told us that they really miss having the tutorials there. So just so you know, we love doing the live tutorials. But yeah. for the tutorial to be effective for people, it can't be as long as what we end up doing when we when we do things live. So here's how we'll handle that. We could do a live tutorial. And everybody will know that this tutorial is only going to last an hour or whatever it is. And as soon as it's over, then we shut it down so that the replay will only be that long for people to watch. But then we can come right back in um, for a craft along and just keep crafting and playing and hanging out. <clears throat> but that I way totally the tutorial is gone forever. What'd you lose? I lost my inks and like my liquid, my reinker stuff. Oh, no. And I couldn't find them earlier, and I just found them, finally. So, the blues um, are back. <laughs> <laughs> home for the weekend, again, with lots of little chores. Um, yeah, I knew you drove home for the weekend, Tina, so I assume you brought your puppy with you. But um, what kind of what kind of dog is it, the one that's traveling with you? Raised soft coated Wheaton Terriers and Chihuahuas. Wow, my retired 11 year old Wheaton is going with me everywhere. Aw, that's amazing. Nothing better than the love of a puppy. 
with you, you know? Especially when you just don't feel well and you're just laying around watching TV and puppy just cuddles up to you. That's the best. Yeah. Animals are wonderful. Love yeah. Them. I'm such an animal person. Sly look in their eye as they're grabbing your stuff and running out the door. <laughs> <laughs> knowing they're not they gonna call, come and call or whistle because they know they're not supposed to be there. <laughs> so here's my uh scrape off stencil. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I love how the yellow and the pink are layered here like a shadow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fun. Okay, here's oh, your yeah. here's all the names. Okay. Mixing them all up. Some are on orange and some are on white. Because that's the paper I had sitting here. All right, guys, you're watching me dig, dig in and draw one, and hopefully not dropping it in the shading cream. Uh oh, did we lose Sharon? Sharon, you just, you just, oh, there you are. We lost video, and then it came right back. Oh. Okay. Hey, I'm hey, flashing the back. Here we go. Carol, okay. yeah, Carol Foos, you won. Oh, really? Nice, Yay. Carol. All right. Did she win one earlier? Say that again. Did she win one earlier? I feel uh -huh. like she did. did she? Nope. No? She, was, she oh. had a 12-hour day today um, at work, so she just barely oh. came on our live tonight. But she's yeah. been posting like crazy. Uh, she's just a happy. Love having her here. She's sharing her enthusiasm right in. Awesome. Debbie Royer invited her into the group, and we're happy to have her. I know why I'm thinking that because I talked to her a bunch with the uh, 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 about the double partner thing recently. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've had a lot of communication. Hey, this week. Cheryl, yeah, Cheryl's doing the happy yeah. dance. Here, I'll help you do the happy whoop, dance, Cheryl. Whoop 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 whoop. I'm doing happy Here, dance. I can do it my, I'm doing happy my, dance. Happy dance. <laughs> Congratulations. Sharon will be sending you a prize. Okay, so look at this one as it's dried. It looks way cooler as it's drying. I like it better. Still not coming up in... What is with my YouTube? It is really... I wonder, maybe I should just... Um, I'm just now doing the happy dance on my YouTube. Oh, there we go. Wasn't on live. And it's on top chat. Oh, it must have totally stopped on its own. No wonder. No wonder. Okay. Yeah, I like this much better as it's dried. Could be a, that would be a cool background stuff in a book. And this one, this one's not even dry yeah. yet. It needs to dry so I can do something on it. Um, What am I going to do with this, guys? What am I going to do with this? Am I just going to mix it up some more? Okay, there, I put. this is where I put the... Um, I, I wasted all those sprinkles, those <laughs> shimmer, uh, shimmers, uh, powder, shimmer powder, whatever it is on there. And it didn't really activate very well. All right. So what color am I going to do on this? I, I need to do a couple envelopes. That's what I need to do. So guys, what color should I put on this? All right, I've got some envelopes right here that I can do, but I need some color. Any sci-fi fans? M's last one looks like a dune sandworm. <laughs> Ooh, is that what you think this one looks like, Glennis? Does that look like a dune sandworm? Bringing it, I'm bringing it, getting here. That one. Is that the one you're talking about? She's bringing it. I'm bringing it. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's Ooh. what she did. Oh, Ooh, I don't see that, but yeah. Gold, I like it. Black and gold. Okay. I like it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, where did I put that? I just had um perfect. I wanted to see if I could get some better designs on here. I also forgot I had this printer ink. I just um Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No clue. <laughs> I could use black, though. 
We haven't used any black. I'm going to use black and gold right now. Good idea. Was that your plan? Uh, nope. Lucy just gave it to me. Awesome. It's Lucy's plan. And I'm going to do Awesome. It. I'm going to use Distress Spray Stain Black Soot. And then what gold? Well, I've got this uh, Doc Markins Bombay Yellow Ochre India ink. I think it might be kind of thick. Let's let's check it out. I feel like I just like totally wasted a whole lot of my favorite oxide. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because you know you need so many drops to to spread around. But okay, um, we're gonna try it. We're trying it. This one is gold. That's this one is gold. Um, but this bright yellow one is really that's more like butter, bright butter. I've got gold acrylic paint. Um, I've got I can use that ochre. I could use a gold mixative. Um let's see. I know there's other golds. What other golds are there? I don't think I've tried this one. Let's see what this ah. one is like. <clears throat> Looks like lemon meringue. It kind of does, and I don't like lemon meringue, Cheryl. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> A lot of oh, oxide. Just watching your babies. Awesome, the chihuahuas. But you get to see them when you're home. That's cool. That's cool. Black and gold. Sounds good. Black and gold. Those were the colors of my son's high school. And he played football. So they those are good colors. Black and we gold. We had ugly colors. We had yellow and green. Ew. Terrible, right? Yeah. yeah. But I didn't play sports, so it didn't matter. I was the crazy artist, so it was Ours cool. were blue and gold. <laughs> Ours were blue and gold, which is really pretty, too. Yeah, we use, do a lot of that. Um, let's see here. How am I going to do this in black? Yeah, that's not going to do that. Oops. All right, I need to get... Because I'm suddenly working with black. My hands are actually pretty good, but I'm working with black. So I'm going to put on another glove. <laughs> Just because. Surprised I'm not like wearing this all over my lap or anything like yeah, that yet. It doesn't have to be that messy. I could get that messy, yes. I mean, I, you know, I'm saying that we could. I could, for yeah. sure. But it okay. doesn't have I got to Nutella be. in my hair yesterday. Yeah. Let me just I mean, say that I'm again. I'm just talking about this whole shaving cream thing. It oh. doesn't have to be that messy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. That I love. I, I think I like it always better on this Marty. paper. Uh, wow. Julie's were bottle green and gray. All right, that's bad, Julie. Sorry. <laughs> that is. Those are weird colors together. So there's an alcohol ink called bottle. And so now it makes sense. It's bottle green. People are like, that's a weird name. And I'm like, no, it's that vintage bottle green. <laughs> Is it that Kelly Kelly green color, sort the, of? The vintage bottle that's green. Yeah, that yeah, yeah I got it. Okay. Yeah. Weirdness. Yeah. But Ranger has an alcohol ink called bottle. Okay, so there's my black, and I just put my finger over it and carefully dribbled it on. And now... I want to see if this will oxidize on here. Maroon and gold. Um, I think it is. So yeah, ours were blue and gold, and then our rival was 
I don't remember if theirs was red and gold or maroon and gold. Gold acrylic. Where's the gold acrylic? There it is. I guess I could use even the brightest colors for um, the inside of books, of, of journals. Mm -hmm. Because usually that's where oh, yeah. you see some pretty that's wild colors. Exactly. Uh -huh. It's the bookends. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Running out of gold acrylic here. Wasn't Doug supposed to get me one for Christmas? <laughs> acrylic? Yeah, a, a gold, a, a metallic gold. Cheap craft acrylic paint. Did you ask him to? No, because I remember when we were gel plating and I was running out. And and he was on one day and somebody said, she's running out of metallic gold. And he says, I'll add it to oh. Christmas. <laughs> I never That's got awesome. one. Just want you to know, I never got one. I never got to tell you guys. My lovely husband, on his own, went Ooh. and got three cans of spray paint. And stuffed wow. him in the in my stocking. Really? Because he knows, you know, I love spray paint and I like having every color yeah. of the rainbow. And he got me the colors I used the most, which were teal, really? turquoise, okay. and gold. Wow. And copper. That's yeah. Cool. Or rose gold. Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty, pretty awesome. Good. Well, everything else, he pretty much said, yeah, just um, you know, pick it out at on Amazon. So I oh. ended up, you know. I, I, I'm sitting there next to him and I said, do you want me to hit place order or? <laughs> yeah, really. Or would you so like I, to reach over and buy my Christmas yeah. gift? Yeah. So, so that's what he did without my, without my help was the, um, uh, stocking. Cool. He did good. Lucy, this is looking really cool. I feel like it needs a little more black and I'm hoping that doesn't. Ruin it. There's a few places where it just needs black to run. Oh, you guys, look at this. Look at this awesomeness. Oh, this right here. I love oh, all these moments. Not mean for that to. All right, let's see if I can get that to run a bit. No. Okay, now we're putting paper in black and gold. Oh no, I was gonna do I was gonna do envelopes. Oh, but I would love a cool black and gold end paper for a book. That would be awesome. I have a, a video, a flip through that I need to get up on YouTube. It's a flip through of my Paris journals that I haven't been able to get up there because it's on my phone and there I convert, I had to do it in a couple of sections um, because I got interrupted. I put them together and now there's not enough room on my phone for oh my to phone. bring it back. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I got to, now I got to deal with that and get it so I can upload it. Cause I just, I can't even get it up to YouTube. I'd like to. It's a flip through of Ms. Paris and Ms. Paris Jr. Yeah. My phone is so full. I feel like I'm constantly like having yeah. to unload it. Yes. Before we do anything like this. Yeah. Full. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. All right. Let's let me see that. I need to scrape it. I love Got the it. idea of the black. Trying to get things out of the way so that I can scrape it. Mm. Oh, and I left enough white. That's cool. So, Cheryl, what's your favorite color? Since you won the prize tonight, I'm curious. Oh, because you're sticking in some marbled paper. That's awesome. Right. That's what I want to know. 
Cool. And I seem to have um, a lot of colors here, but I could make some of something I didn't make, maybe. Mm. She can come up with some colors I haven't, I don't have yet. Okay, <laughs> here is the first black and gold. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. She said I'm a graffiti artist as well. <laughs> you are? Uh, not not so much, but yeah. Uh-huh. I'm a I'm a definitely an abstract artist. All right, just a sec. I want to see that too. Right, this is the this is my first black and gold. Oh, it's so pretty. And I've got the other side to pull here. So let's see what we get from that one. I love it. Linus, you can make some. You're making right now, aren't you? Do black and gold. It's probably done. She, she, probably wants did, it. she probably did 85 and then said, okay, I'm done. I'll just watch now. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's a speed crafter like I am, isn't she? Dawn did over 60. Well, she wow. has a, she's got a little experience sitting there whipping them out because that's what she does every day. She practices doing that every day. Yeah. Kind of jealous of all the time she gets to spend doing that. Honestly. <laughs> all right. Here comes the second one. Got a. Oh, Lucy, I get what you're saying. No. Um. I just love, I, I will do artwork with spray paint. I will. And it's not necessarily graffiti like you think of graffiti. But that <laughs> even started when I was in art school. Um, I, I'm sure I was the crazy neighbor out in the driveway with um, three uh, uh, seven by three panels and uh experimenting of course um and mm -hmm. I, I was trying salt you know like you use salt with watercolor um to displace the spray paint and there i was with a can of spray paint in each hand um different colors and you know like wax on wax off and then throw the salt and then and i'm out there in overalls with my hair and pigtails and i i'm sure the neighbors that didn't know me yet because i had just moved in thought who is this person and you know, like, <laughs> how can I join her? Because that looks fun. Yeah. Well, and I, I actually that was before I completed my art studio in that house. So, I, you know, and I couldn't have done that inside anyway. <laughs> There's a second black and gold. Oh, oh, I, oh, that's my favorite. I see a lady's dress. I see a lady. Yep, I see it too. And she's doing twirl. Uh huh. And the, there's a gold um, scarf flying. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see it flying. Uh huh. Yep. I, I totally so. see her. Yep. Totally see her. Do you guys see her? Right here. Tom thought he had lots of shaving cream and he was wrong. <laughs> uh -huh. She only did 20. I love this too, Don. I agree, Julie. Oh. I love I love anything with black. I love the contrast of black and white, yeah. black and red, it's black and pink, a black and gold. Glennis made flowers with her ugly ones already. <laughs> <laughs> nice. These would actually yeah. make I I need two more really unless it's a mini book. Because these would make really pretty end papers. You know, it would be fun. You know how we made flowers with the, uh, 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 oh my gosh, what's it called? The Tyvek for, with the uh -huh. mailer envelopes, the plastic. Yeah. Yep. It would be fun to paint the Tyvek with this. Oh yeah. Yeah. To do t this process with Tyvek mm -hmm. and then do your, do the flowers and heat yeah. them up. Has anybody done that? That is new to our group. Check that out. Oh, Cheryl, are you leaving? Yeah, she's only been working 12 hours today. I mean, we have okay, two. Cheryl, she's, I need she's your, a nurse. So. <laughs> Cheryl, I need your favorite colors, though. Please. <laughs> First. Cheryl, name a couple colors. <laughs> I've been watching for them, and I didn't see them, so. 
unless they were in the middle of a heated conversation <laughs> that, that you missed. <laughs> that I missed, yeah. Boy, I like this. I'm not usually a big pink fan, but oh, I really like this combo. Yeah, I do too. It's the oxide, that little bit of blue in there that makes me happy. Yeah. Really. Little bit of blue is okay. It's when my little blue, bit of blue grows into a okay. lot of blue. Here's the third blue. black and gold gold straight over the top of the other one i didn't add anything cheryl said purple pink red yellow okay all the happy colors well those are okay. uh, all the night. all those warm thanks cheryl good night good night cheryl thanks for stopping in hanging with us for a while it's good to see you Okay, let's see. I'm going to add more of this. This looks like a roast to me right here. Okay, here's the fourth black and gold. So with four, I could do a book. I, I really, do... really like the way this is coming out with the black. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. It's really pretty. Good idea, Lucy. Good idea. Purple, pink, red, red, yellow, too. These are all Cheryl's colors. Thank you, Cheryl. Good night. She likes rainbow color. <laughs> Anything of the rainbow. I love the scraper tool, too, too Judy. It's the most awesome because it's wide enough to do the whole thing in one swoop. And does someone have some pretty black lace to go with that gorgeous paper? It'll be awesome. Oh, yeah, Dawn. <gasps> Dawn. <laughs> Dawn and I were at a sale and, and um, she bid, uh, I bid on auction something and she outbid me and she won it. And, um, it was bla a black lace pack. And then she so gifted she's me. rubbing it in right now, huh? No, she gifted me <laughs> half of it. Oh, that was so sweet. I know. She made me cry. Nobody's ever done that. I've never had anything gifted like that before. But oh, just, that's yeah, so sweet. She was very sweet. Told her that was a first. So I'm very excited to receive that. Yes, that black lace would be great with that. Okay, so I really love that black and gold. Well, I could keep doing that. Just add a little more and keep the swirl going. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. I don't know if there's any left in this. I almost <laughs> squeezed it all out last time accidentally in one great big blob up here it comes oh, yummy i did open a box today though and i found another one of these gold metallic paints it's half gone, but you know, so this one's going to be empty tonight, but I've got another one that's got a little bit in it and I'll just have to, uh, one of these days make my way to, I don't know, Michael's or Joanne's or whoever has it super cheap. Want to hear something ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I buy, um, metallic paints first because I'm like, Oh, but I love gold. You know, right? it's like the turquoise for me. Right. And I end up with gold and copper and whatever metallic okay. colors they have in every paint that I own. Yes, so I have so copper and silver. Yes. Yeah. I have yeah. so many. 
I, I know. It would be hard for me to run out of gold just yeah. because I have it in Well, that's what I thought. Never ran out of gold. But, but yeah, well, gold of that type. But if we yeah. were doing gel, gel printing, that's the type I wanted. Right. I did another gold acrylic paint, but it's too thick to do what I wanted on the gel plate. It just wasn't working well. All right, so let's try this. Yeah, I most recently said, yeah, I need to stop buying gold paint. I never <laughs> thought I would hear myself say that. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no more gold paint. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. All right. Oh, this is going to make some pretty ones. I'm going to get two more no, gorgeous paint. ones out of this. I've got a curious cat now. Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah. She's going to walk through this and then we're going to have some nifty footprints. Yeah. No, Percy. No, 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 no. She's like, what you, what's that? What you doing? Uh -huh. She's been really good and so I smell, far. Oh, I touch that and then, and then all of a sudden yeah. swipe. I want to play. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. all it's going to take. Mm-hmm. No, Percy. Percy, no. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Right. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, is she okay? Is your stuff okay? <laughs> uh, well, I tried to keep her off the computer and oh, flip. And to the bed. I interfered, you know, with the, with the jump. Uh-huh. And, and so instead, you landed where? <laughs> Yeah, you know how when you're in gym, they're in gymnastics, and and there's a little bit of a, you know, let me help you with that flip over uh -huh. the, through, you know, the uh -huh. coach puts the hand on your back, and right. yeah, we just we just did that. Oh, okay, it's cool. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. Hi, Percy. I wonder oh, what happens there. Look at this one. <laughs> look at this one, Sharon. Look at this one. Oh, oh, I'm waiting on the leg still. Oh, it's so pretty. I love, uh, Lucy, this was a great so idea. Pretty. I am I loving love the black it. and gold. I don't know why I didn't I even think of it. I don't want to play. I never think of black when I'm doing stuff like this. And black is one of my favorite colors, non-colors. <laughs> yeah. Of all. It is black with Evolve. everything. Evolve. Yeah. Black with everything is always my go-to. I just love it. I love the dark contrast. I do too, but not with um, paint usually. Well, um, I, you know, I, I, I use black paint. paint. Don't get me wrong. It just right. and I you know. love this. I love it. Love it. Love it. It's an awesome idea, and I appreciate the suggestion. See, this is why we like your suggestions because <laughs> you have amazing ideas that we didn't think of. It's funny; okay. I can tell if I'm going to like it or not. Usually, from the underside, if it if it if I let it soak through. Oh, here's the fourth one. I'm I mean, not the fourth one. This is the sixth one. Sixth. Yep. This Goodness, is girl. The sixth black and gold print. Oh wow! I would still need two more if I was going to make that. This is this is interesting. How different they are from the first ones that you loved. These have more black in them. The first ones had more gold. Like check this out. You absolutely love this. But look at this one next to it. One has so much more gold, and the other has so much more black. Now that I put them together, I like it with more black. I do like it with more black, too. It is so interesting. So interesting. But I love this one with the lady dancing in her dress. And her Me, star. too. <laughs> I mean, I, got, I totally have the whole story for her. I know. So this is her behind over here. There's her feet. That's her, her foot kicking out she's front. This is, yeah, she's dancing. There's her scarf flying. And her, her um, arms are right here by her side. And, and her head's uh, flipped that way. And she's in the middle of a, a move. She is. She's She's got wicked dance moves, I see. Yeah. I like At the it. outer ball. 
<laughs> I love laying and looking at the clouds and, and finding shapes in the clouds. Me too. I even like doing that with my shower curtain. I don't they, lay in the bathroom yeah. though. <laughs> And they take new shapes so quickly that it just, yes. it's fascinating. Okay, I got to put some red in here. And then I will have done every color, I think. Because I got a lot of pink here for somebody that doesn't do a lot of pink. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. Ah! That one's so super marble. It's so good. So this one, I didn't um, stir it. And then I went, I scraped it um, with that uh, part that was perforated. So it has kind of stripes on it. And I actually do like it a lot more than I thought I would. I see mountains. Mm. Mountains. Or birds. I see birds all the time. I see birds. I say you see birds <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Right. Everything is birds. Of course it is. Should I add black? Oh, yes. Black? That would be so pretty. Yes, yes, yes. I say black. That Should I? Awesome with that. Be real quick here. What would I be got. really pretty with that. Kinds of black ink. I've got calligraphy black. I've got printer black. Yeah, Margie, there's a man behind her too, dancing, and he has a scarf on too. The same. <laughs> he has the same gold scarf on, and we. But you can only see his upper. His lower is hidden behind um, her. Oh my gosh! I just stuck my hand in shaving cream. Oh. Of course, I wasn't uh, looking. Now do some finger painting. Don't lick it off. <sighs> Okay. I think I only have a couple more poles le or colors left in me here. Uh, there's only a couple left in the rainbow, but you know what I mean. That. I, you know how yeah, I'm go tired. Along, go along and all of a sudden you feel it hit. Yep, I just felt that happen. Yep, me too. <laughs> I think Same. her really wants me to sit down and love on her. Uh, she is acting like she needs me. And I haven't had any time for her today at all. I've been here all day. Yeah, I, Poor baby. Uh, gotcha. I've been doing the same thing. Poor baby. Oh, I know. Poor baby. How I'm going to use my device. This is from college. I've had these for so long. I mean, I've used half of it, but they make you go out and buy all these supplies. And, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the Higgins calligraphy ink is just one of those things. Right. I have blue too. It's getting, it's kind that of getting chunky. Be, that would be great ink to use. It's getting a little thick. It's not really a dropper. Mm hmm. What do you think of this one? I see a couple birds in this one. I see lots of birds. I see a tree with birds sitting in it everywhere. Oh, yeah, I see lots of birds. Mm hmm. Come on. Come on. Are you serious? Dawn, your dad was an Arthur Murray dance instructor. That's cool. Well, that is so cool. That's really I cool. Really want to do that with Doug. I don't know if he would. You know, man, I can't dance. Well, that's why we need to go take instructions. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't dance. <laughs> So did he teach you to, how to dance, Don? How to um, ballroom dance? Um, had to have. I cannot imagine a father <laughs> teaching dance that didn't dance with his daughter. I took ballroom dance in college. I took 
dance classes with my dad, but he was one of those bossy, mouthy people that, <laughs> well, you know, that um, argued with the dance instructor. And then we walked out three da three classes in because oh. he was telling the dance instructor how to do it. Oh, dude. You know? Yeah. So I had to leave. we had to go and I was so mad at him. Gosh, I was mad at him. Yeah, I don't blame you. What do you see in this one? A feather. Huh. I see. Do you feather. see it? No. Where's the feather? Um, just no, a sec. I got my hands full. Hold on. This I'm getting Whoa. right down in. Is this it? It comes up and does this swirl, and then there's all the feather things that come off of it. Yes. Okay, I see that. And to me, that feather is going right around a face. I can see two eyes and a nose and the mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. I would probably have to see it and study it to see what you see there. Yeah. Does it make that sound, though? Um, well, Rah. not a roar. But <laughs> um, I, no, I'm not going to go with the story. <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's it's getting weird. <laughs> it's getting weird. <laughs> the, story's, the story's getting weird in my head. I know I'm getting tired. So <laughs> it's getting weird in my head. So <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd, I'd be laughing harder if I wasn't so tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I said to Bill I would be here all day, I wasn't kidding. And I don't think he, he listened. I don't Bill think he what, that. what all day meant. Well, yeah, because I, I actually got up when he got up this morning. Mm-hmm. You know, important, and uh, you know, and I still was only getting up with just enough coffee in me to mm -hmm. open my eyes at that point. But uh, uh Doug, I got up at three forty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, three forty, and he knew I was going to be in here all day and all night. Well, you've done it a few Saturdays for him to understand that. Yep. Yeah. Every other I mean, he Saturday. knows I'm generally in here all night, Saturday night, but I don't think yeah. he. Um, but you haven't done I, a sale like that all day. Right. I don't think he expected the uh, kitchen to look like it did when he left for work. Sorry, was it, honey. Was it a wreck? Well, I did the dishes last night, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah. He still had some stuff out on the counter and I left mm -hmm. it and you know, right. I'm glad he volunteered to cook for himself on Saturday nights from now on though. It's that yeah. or have wet crock pot food food. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome, Dawn. She loved to watch her parents dance. That that's amazing. Oh, well, that's so cool. Yeah, that is so cool. That really is. Um, where did that stencil go? Let me get this one. Oh my gosh, my, uh, you know what? Somehow the comment bar, oh, it was probably when she jumped on the, on the thing there. Okay. Um, it was all the way up the page and I was like, wait, we already heard this. Good night, Lucy. Good night, Lucy. <laughs> Julie said we sound tired. Yeah, we <laughs> probably time. do. Probably. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, we have a harder time keeping up with comments when we get tired because it's harder to focus. So there's a lot of um, uh, 
you know, I think I'm looking and then 10 minutes have gone by and it's been that long, you know, since I've seen a comment. We're not really yeah. looking. <laughs> yeah, we think we're looking. It's, well, we just can't. Yeah. It's just our multitasking abilities have uh, diminished greatly. <laughs> uh, that was a good sentence for a tired person, too. <laughs> that was that's why I'm laughing. That was, that was a lot for. <laughs> Look at this. I was concentrating for a minute. That page was just made a mess out of. Um, I just took some of my black and gold, which is now gray, and can't see. You won't be able to see it. I think really until it dries, and yeah. over the stencil. But I let it be um, kind of dimensional, so it's sticking up. So if oh, it dries, yeah. I actually see it. It's beautiful. Should look really cool. If it dries and it's hard, then I could run over that with some gold nouveau mousse. That would look really cool. Ooh. So if it's like, uh, I don't think it's going to be hard because I have a couple that dried from the beginning. Um, oh, that be hard? Are soft. Mm. They're soft. Well then. Um, well then. So like modeling paste. Is that what you mean? Well, like how it, yeah, yeah I, I treat it like modeling paste, but if it's never going to yeah. get hard, but it will dry. It will dry, but it, probably what will happen is it'll dry, it'll dehydrate, so it'll shrink down, it'll just be dried flat, so it won't be it won't be raised. Yeah. That's what pretty, I pretty So it'd be cool, but let's see. Mm, well, maybe after it's dry, I guess if I really wanted to, I could take a little paintbrush and with gold, you know, wash over the whole thing. But these are drying remarkably fast for yeah. getting them soaked, which I think feel like we're doing. Yeah, but shaving cream dries really fast. I mean, isn't shaving cream uh, alcohol based? I Is have it? no idea. I Probably know. depends on the shaving cream too. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm loving these colors, too. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Laura said she took it up and she could <laughs> <laughs> well, Laura took a nap and we're just about ready to go crash. <laughs> oh man. Um, oh. Yeah, we're we're uh getting brain dead. Like you just come in, Laura. I actually got some pretty cool marbled pages. All these black and gold. I think I'm gonna put this in a jar and play with it later and see how it holds up because it's just so much wasted color in my opinion when you're using a uh ink like that um, it is but you know i don't I like it, ink, but... yeah i wouldn't keep it too long i think it'll mold yeah in a jar it I might really just go like flat and do something works. really cool who knows yeah I have these strips that I got out here. I'm gonna run. This is like, like marbly washy. If you tape it down. One, two, three. Using little strips, you get to choose the little most fun moments on your plate. Yeah. Well, it's not really a plate on your palette. I'm saying it like it's a gel plate, you know, <laughs> on your plate. 11, 12, 13.
Okay, these are fun. Yeah, they the are. Scripts, check it out. Because I picked and I, you know, decided where I wanted that exactly. Wow, that is really cool right there. Looks like a bird of paradise. Everything looks like birds to me. Oh, That's yes. my thing. <laughs> wow. You know how you said if we go back and look at them the next day, look at them uh, later with fresh eyes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're right. You are there. I, I just went through them to count them. Forgot how many there were. <laughs> I just went through them to count them and looked at them and went, wow, I forgot what I did 30 ago. You know? Yeah. I'm sure we've made 60. Boy, that um, looks cool. And especially after it dried. Yeah. Just a minute and I'll get mine counted too. I think there's, I oh, want to say so cool. 39 or 40 and then um, oh, a bunch wow. of pages of stencils. bunch of plate pages of stencils. Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. I've still got this pink and purple oh. one here. And it's still sitting here ready to go. Look, we have the same color. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> try some black in this. What? I'm going to add some black to this pink and purple. Oh, yeah? What the heck? I'm getting tired. Well, that's what I have here is the black. You see that, black right? Does it look purple on camera? Yours? Yeah. Um, did you have purple and added black? No, I have pink. It's on okay. a cream colored paper. Okay. Oh, oh no, that yeah. yeah. That doesn't look like purple, no. Ooh. Oh. Never can tell how it's gonna show up on camera. I mean, I see one I thing, know. but you can see another altogether. That's so true. and then it's never the same on any camera as it is in real life. Oh, right, right. Wow, the texture of the shaving cream really changes. This one's been sitting there. I worked with the second one and let this one just sit there for the last few hours. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I actually started doing that with just like the thinnest bit of um, layer of shaving cream from the thickness of the stencil. Let me focus uh -huh. so I can get my words out. <laughs> really? Sorry. That's so okay. I don't get lost. Squirrel. Uh, really? <laughs> Uh, mm. Oh, so cool. Okay, so these are those ones that have that book page on them. And look at the marbling, how soft. And oh, no, 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 no. Where the, um, where it skipped and it looks like, um, shipped paint or, it doesn't even look marbled right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks amazing. But I mean, in the places it does, look at all the different color. Because I have a an uh, aged page on a piece of white cardstock here. Um, and it was just scraps. I mean, look, 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 look. Cool. It looks like an oxide almost with the water spots. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. yeah. I and love it because I only put one glove on. So my left hand <laughs> is without a glove. Now my left hand is black. <laughs> I don't know why I, the other glove is sitting here. I got two out. I put one on and went to work and did and totally did forgot. The other one. Until no, just, this minute, minute. just this minute. And I'm looking at my hand going, it That's is the black. I'm going to find another corner to stick this in here. I'm tired. This card was not really a card and it's split into three or two pieces and it's so mm -hmm. soft now. <laughs> uh, well, All the right. Credit card type thing. Do it's one of the ones in the mail um, right? that are not oh, real yeah. and they're like, oh, you're pre approved. 
No, you've sent me many, many. I, Remember? Well, even, even like the plastic, hard plastic ones that will last forever. Yeah. Do you need any? You've sent you, me a stack of them. Okay. Because <laughs> I've started not even on everything. Them. I've got <laughs> so many of them. I've got so many of them that I've started. Doug will go, because uh, he used to save them for me too. And now he'll go, did you say you don't need these anymore? I'm like, uh, no, I got them coming out of my ears. I can't even use them all. And I never, I, I rarely ever use them. I'll use a scraper like this because it covers more surface area. I prefer it. Throw some old fabric or doily you don't like much. Oh, yeah. I thought about doing fabric with this. I always keep a little box of stamping fabric. Um, look at all the blue that's hiding in there and the purple and it's nice like a, a rusting it's stuff. It's like a poly pocket rainbow here. Um so Doug sent me a, a link the other day. He was at work and I get a text from him and it's a link to a to a pin on Pinterest. And the article that it links to is titled, um, My Favorite Way to Rust New Metal. Uh-huh. Oh, he it, sent that to you, and that was the, <laughs> yeah. He's a good it's boy. <laughs> hey, this is new. This is a first. That, that's amazing that he's like, here, honey, here's a technique. Try this one. You know? <laughs> Now, wow. Bill does that all the time. I am super impressed every time still. Yeah. And I think it's wonderful. He brought a printer home the other day to take apart and yeah. get all the gears out. This. <laughs> That's insane. Like, they, yeah. he wanted to bring garbage home to get yeah. the gears out for me. Because yeah. he's, you just used it to make 50 pieces of, of paper. And yeah, I guess that's true. Strip. A whole bunch of little strips, so it's not wasted. It's not like you squirted it yeah, on there yeah. and went, oh, that looks cool with color, and then washed it down the drain. You just used it to make 50 <laughs> pieces of paper and some strips, so it's not yeah. wasted. It's, it's been well used. Yeah, I guess. Well used. Okay. I don't think I would waste my ox side on it again, my my ink re-inker. That is all. So if you that, use that's the only thing. More, that, yeah. If you want to use it for one more thing, then take it to the sink and because you're going to just wash all this down the sink, put the stopper in and put a couple of white doilies in the sink and wash all the, the shaving cream out and all the color will come out with it and go into the sink and, and let it get more water, you know, to fill up enough to cover the doilies and let the doilies sit there and soak a bit or lace. And then when you're done, um, just open the drain, take the doilies out, rinse them off really good, get the shaving cream out of them so they don't mold. And then um, just wash all the shaving cream down the drain. And then you've used it for many more things. It's not, yeah, definitely not wasted. Uh-oh, Dawn, we cut out for her. We're about ready to cut out, Dawn. Both of us are about ready to crash with our head face first in the shaving cream. <laughs> That'll look fun. Yeah, um, we wasted it. No. Um, you saw the other day when I did when I was playing around, I um actually did my paper towel. So if you have a paper towel there that you've been using, Sharon, put your paper towel on and do your paper towel. I should do that. You're not one. gonna believe what I did. I hmm? have really bad luck lately. I just stepped on a staple. And it was straight up, and it oh, went no. all the way into my foot. No and way. I had to pry it out. No way. Oh, oh and I have so. vacuumed in here and vacuumed oh, in here. Yes. Oh, it's a good sorry. thing I've had my tetanus shot. <laughs> really? Oh, uh, okay. Look at that. There's another lock in. Let me get that in. I need to put it down and scrape it. It scraped just like, just like the paper did with my, with my scraper. Wow. I just don't have any room here. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was thinking fabric. Um, I don't think yeah. I would use a doily that is that colorful. So, but, so um, um, lace or, 
just like some muslin or plain cotton, you know, old bed sheet or something that you could then tear up. And, yeah. Oops, That's what that I stamp on. The, Check yeah, exactly. this out. Not even oxide, but look at the little dots um, like an oxide. Lost, you lost video. We have audio, uh -oh. but you lost video. You are, are you plugged in? Yeah, I'm plugged in. Mm. My phone saying, holy crap, girl, stop. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Dawn is buffering. No, that's, no, that's mean, old. She was. She was. Yeah. Buffering. Um, let's see. I'll see if I can make this one black. Now I took okay. both. I'll share loads of pictures later. Yeah. As soon as I took both, um <laughs> as soon as I took my gloves off, then I started sticking my fingers right in here and getting in a total mess at the very end. Way to go, Marianne. Protect your hands all night and then just go make them black with the black ink. In there. There. Yeah. Just I am. wipe it all over your face. Uh -oh. There you go. The other night when I was doing it, Doug looked at me and he started chuckling and, and I'm like, what? And he's like, you got blue ink across your forehead. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Uh, yeah. But, well, it just means I'm a happy camper. That's right. And yeah, exactly. How about... I really like the way the texture is on the paper, leaving that tiny thin layer of shaving cream through the stencil. You know, you know what I mean? Oh, right. Yes. Yes. I love that. What so has happened with that texture? So I think what I'm going to do is run some of this through a stencil with wide, with big holes so that I am not necessarily wasting it. I'm making like a 3d sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's see. It won't stay 3D because it won't stay. Yeah, uh, just original. a little texture, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it'll give some texture. Yeah, that's a big mush. That is a big mush. <laughs> big mush. <laughs> this is a big mush because it was all the all the color was just all blended at the end, so it's just a big mush. Where the one I made. <clears throat> The one I made the other night actually turned out really nice and marbled. See, we lost your video, so I'm going to take video. You go away. ahead. Okay, so this is the one I made the other night, the paper towel, and it actually turned out really nice and marbled. But tonight, the paint or the, yeah, the all the ink and paint is just all mushed together. I just, you know, smashed all the end of it, so it's just a uh, big mush on there. <laughs> Big bush on the paper towel. You guys watch mine on the page, and I'll post pictures. Not tonight, probably tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do pictures tomorrow too. I'm not gonna pull them all up and run through them. There's so many of them. But yeah, everybody post pictures tomorrow. And remember, if you post pictures of your marbled paper tomorrow, it gets you an additional entry into the grand prize oh, drawing. Okay. That's at right. The month. And, hmm, secret. There's more than no one secrets. grand prize. No secrets. Secret. There's more, <laughs> there's more than one grand prize. <laughs> no, no, we're not good at keeping secrets. But we're going to we try. So it, I can't keep secrets from friends. <laughs> no, really good but for a little while longer. Just a yeah. little while. Longer. All right. There's more than one grand prize. That's all I'll say. Okay. I'll, I'll say. <laughs> Oh, guys, are y'all ready to go to sleep, too? We're about ready to crap. Oh, yeah. What a great weekend it's been with you guys it hanging out. Been. Yeah. It, it has I been. Agree. Oh. Yeah, Sharon's video is gone. <clears throat> yeah, for now. Um, no, it doesn't have to be tomorrow, Dawn. It would need to be sometime this and, week. Yeah. Sometime this week, yeah. Between now and next Saturday. Right, Marianne? Is that what, what we decided? Yep. Before okay. next Saturday and the next thing we do, because then you'll okay. have another opportunity next Saturday to get another chance. Right. To get the grand prize drawing. Yeah. Yeah. The grand prizes are of value. They have, they have value. Great value. Well, they're I mean, just great fun. Everything, do. everything, every prize has value and is, you know, is great to win. But the grand, the three grand prizes are are they they cost something. You know what I mean? 
they cost uh, a little more. They're grand prizes. They're going to be of greater value, maybe. Listen to her gives away secrets still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no secret because every grand prize, that's the, that's the big one. That's the one that should be of greater value, right? Right. That. I'm just excited. And I, uh, I can't even pull it out of the closet because I'm afraid if I do, I'll just start showing because I'm excited. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I won't. I just made my finger even more black. I get those. Oh, uh oh. I gotta oh, go no. try to wash some of this off. Or That's why you put wearing gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I was great all night long. And you were. I took off. Until I now. Took <laughs> yep. That's right. Oh yeah, Don. You put it in tonight. That's fine. You're totally. Um, you you count. Know, That's counting. It counts. That's counts. Anytime from tonight on. Tonight to next Saturday night. So you're good. Yeah. You're good. Oh. oh, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. We appreciate it. Don, hanging tag, out. Did you tag um, Glennis in that? You probably not because you didn't know that it was going to get you another chance in the drawing. If you can tag Glennis in that, and Glennis, if you can keep that on a separate list, that's anybody who posts um, the things that they made from the Saturday Night Live that we did here. Wait, does it need to be on the separate list? Yes, because that's not the weekly inspiration drawing. That's okay. an extra okay. chance of the grand prize. Okay. Because they All can right, still get in the inspiration drawing every day, and then this is like a bonus chance in the grand prize. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Otherwise, it would it would take away from one of their chances in the inspiration drawing. I really got to take my stencils down and wash them. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, <laughs> thank you for being here. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, sorry. And we love you. Good night, everyone. We will see good you night. in the group tomorrow. Get some good rest and uh, be safe. <laughs>